We are live! What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? There we go, we got the music. What is up? Late? I started right on time. My hair looks terrible today. Also, have you have you seen this? I've, I've got this like spot. I've got this nasty little spot on my cheek right now. It looks grim, bro. But I'm excited for today's stream. How are we doing? Uh, I didn't stream yesterday. As you know, I'm trying to do it daily. But yesterday, I kind of got caught up doing a... I'm voicing the Darkwood script at the minute for the next main channel video, Darkwood. I think it's going to be like six hours or something. Shave your head. Thank you, Zane. The 10. Shave my head. I said already, 10K. 10K and I shaved my head. 10K. Anything less, not doing it. 10K. 10K, I shaved my head. I feel like I need to charge more than that, actually. I feel someone might actually do that. That was probably a bit of a mistake. Only 10K. No, 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 100K, 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 not 10K. Thank you, Butter, for the 20 months. What slop are we consuming? Uh, we got a fair amount of slop today, actually. So, uh, I can stream with you guys for the next, I'd say, I think three hours or maybe two hours. Uh, it's going to be a shorter stream because I've got to do the podcast uh, with all the old people in three hours. Slop time to the trough, little piggy. To the trough. To the trough. Oh my God, I love sparkly water. Right, okay, okay. I do want to bring something up. I wasn't going to bring this up on stream. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring this up on stream. Actually, you know what? I'll wait. We got 1,700 people at the minute. I'll wait until a few more join in. Actually, I might get to this story a little bit later. Uh, I mean, it's not... Uh, I mean, it's not really going to take long, to be fair. We'll see. We'll see. God, I love Sparrow. Right, okay. Yeah, forget it. Forget it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Right, so so this isn't like a slop topic or anything. Uh, I just want to talk about this, right? I'll talk about this real quick. So, um... Okay, there isn't copyright music, thank God. Uh, okay, so... Does anyone here know Dolan Dark? Is this juicy gossip? This is very juicy gossip. This is very juicy gossip. Thank you, Ormeno, for the three months. Um, Pyro Cynical be like it's funny Tuesday eating, 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 oh, eating. Oh, he did it wrong. He did the dono wrong for the chewing. Ah, oh, unlucky. Thank you for the 10, though. I appreciate it. Right. So do we know who Dolan Dark is? So if you guys know, I do a podcast called To Be Honest, and it is with uh, three old men. It's with Colossal is Crazy, it's with Dolan Dark, and it's with Nerd City. Usually we talk about very important topics like the wheat crisis or something. Thank you, nobody, for the two months. But uh, Dolan today, as you know, my sworn enemy, uh, he actually has a channel. Just saw a homeless man piss on the subway and thought of you XOXO. That's very good. Thank you. Right. So as we know, I love Slop Live. Dolan is the superior slopper. Okay. Look, 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 look. Me and Dolan have had beef for a while, right? We, we've had a lot of beef. Mostly because he steals my content and makes it worse, right? So, you know, he'll do all these videos talking about, you know, uh, like, like, for example, here, here is him uh, basically stealing from Moist Critical. And instead of a moist meter, he's doing a slop meter, right? Thank you, E, for the 15. 
Appreciating slop. Welcome back to a long-awaited slop meter on the Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender live action show. The show launched to a pretty astounding 59% on Rotten Tomatoes and a lot of people have been dragging it online. To be fair, I think a lot of the people online are just making fun of it without actually watching it. Honestly, it's not that bad. I was expecting a lot worse. Obviously, the animators... Again, very amazing commentary. There's another video here. Uh, this situation is upsetting. Welcome back to Slop Live. Uh, sad news today, I've got no slop. I was too busy playing Helldivers and didn't do any research. Um, yeah, sorry. Thanks for slopping by. That's it. That's the whole video. That's the whole video. And he's, he's somehow made an entire career of basically just, just copying me and making it worse. But I'm going to bury the hatchet with him today, right? We're, we're going to bury the hatchet because... Uh, Recently, Dolan has, uh, he's got a main channel that he uploads on literally once every nine years. And here he's done a video called The Average Helldivers 2 Experience, right? It's a pretty good video. Let's give it a watch. It's obviously got, you know, all the, all the Breaking Bad memes that you can imagine. And obviously, as we know, Helldivers Here's is an amazing game. Play chat. This man has a toxic fan base likes inflating things of his, had a ridiculous blonde haircut. You just had to blow it up. If you'd done your job, known your Pyro, place, please play the call But no, right. your pride and, and your and ego. It's not as slop as modern cop the story is great, I promise. Love you, sloppy mommy. Thank you, William and Plumcorp the 10. So it's, it's a pretty good video. I mean, he's basically just doing a bunch of like breaking bad memes. Uh, you know, oh, like overlaid onto actual Helldivers gameplay. And Helldivers is, as we know, a very, very good game to the point that I would actually say the PS5 actually finally has a game. But, okay, so yeah, great video. He's uploaded first time in ages. Uh, but we have a problem. So Dolan isn't on TikTok yet because like I said, he's an old man. He's very out of touch already. Someone has yoinked his video. They've yoinked his video. Stuck it on TikTok. Shut up. They yoinked this video, stole... They yoinked this video, posted it on TikTok, and they've edited out the watermark. So th this account here, uh, Witcher Grandmaster, he basically uploaded uh, Dolan's entire video onto TikTok and gave no credit in the description whatsoever. Nothing. Sorry, Nizo, one sec. Uh... He gave no credit whatsoever, nothing in the description, and it's already getting more views than his actual YouTube video. And also as well, like I said, he's used some kind of software to like remove, he hasn't even cropped out the watermark. He's used like some kind of like AI software to remove the watermark. And then, so what, what he's done is, is this like pathetic attempt to give credit. He's gone on and said, uh, you know, credit for this one goes to Dolan Dark. Best one yet, made by Dolan Dark. I'm merely a re-uploader. And then I commented, because it annoyed me a bit, and I said, let me move my uh, let me move my webcam just over here, because the TikTok overlay. I said, shouldn't have posted that if you remove the watermark. You know, if it's to stop a video from flopping, because he had this really weird excuse, because I think someone actually commented saying, uh, why did you, like, not give credit? And I think he's actually, I think he's actually removed that comment now. Uh, but someone said, why didn't you give credit? And he basically said, it messes with the TikTok algorithm. So he's basically admitting that he's only not giving credit in the video because it's going to hurt his own TikTok page, even though this just isn't his video like at all. And then I commented and I said, shouldn't have posted this if you removed the watermark. If it's to stop the video from flopping, you're just leeching views in the original. And then he goes, it's, that is rich coming from an unverified pretender account. He actually thinks I'm like a fake account coming into like God defend him. That is crazy. And Don't obviously you steal from me, you leech. What a hypocrite. Be glad I haven't made a slop video on you. Parakinic. Please. No, 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 no. Critical. If you're going to do a slop video on me, please do it. Please do it. I need the views. I'm begging. Please do it. So, yeah, this is my TikTok page. I mean, the views on it, eh, they're kind of mid. I mean, we're nearly 100k. Not too bad. But yeah. And then he says, welcome to TikTok and Instagram, mate. Crying emoji. So, 
Th this is a pretty cringe situation. This is definitely cringe. I would like people to go onto this page and actually let him know that that was the real Parasynical. I don't want anything like, like no one to report the video or anything like that. Like personally, in, 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 an, in an ideal world, he would take this video down because I'm worried that my friend has spent like a while making this meme and it's just been yoinked and no credit. Like, like, okay, so when you yoink a meme, and you repost it because everyone does that, right? Gimmick accounts, you know, everyone does that. Even commentary to an extent. You're just like reacting to a video. But like, I give credit. You'll see meme pages that have the watermark still intact. But I just think personally, it's so scummy that he, he actually went out of his way to go and physically remove the watermark. Like cropping it out is one thing, but using a software and then basically claiming that the video is going to get no views. I wonder why it's going to get no views because TikTok can probably detect that you've yoinked someone else's work and you're trying to play it off on your own. Refresh the page. He might have already removed my comment to be fair. Still prefer Vine. Okay, we're getting some likes. We're getting some likes on, on the... See, what, what, what I think he's going to do, this account, which I think is really wormy, I think if we get enough people comment on this, telling him to, like, you know, pull it or you're not giving credit, I think he's just going to credit Dolan in the description, which, again, does absolutely nothing. There's no organic link. There's nothing there. Like, the fact he didn't even put him in the description is so lame because he's that obsessed with, like, growing his own page. Like, I, I've never blasted someone on stream before like this but i just think this is really unfair i think it's really unfair someone did this with hellcastle's videos i'm not surprised hello pyro i have a hypothetical philosophical question for you if a skinwalker broke into your bedroom at 3m but had transformed into a fat bitch would you still hit it Hell yes! What? What? Why'd you even answer? Why, why'd you even ask that question? You know what the answer is going to be. You know what the answer is going to be. Hell yes! All right. Let's let's look at the comments again. Paro, I got you, little bro. Lol. Oh my god, he's beefing with you guys. He's beefing. He's saying. Paro, I've been watching your videos since Beach Walk era. You visited Sweden before. Please visit Finland. We got the best. I've I've been to Finland. I, I I went I went to Finland to uh, I went to Finland to interview uh, the Cruelty Squad Roland developer. <laughs> Dolan fell off. Yeah, he's he's always he's always fell off. I'm kind of more doing this because it's like charity work, basically. I'm just helping out someone that's uh fallen off into the abyss. But. I like this. Someone said Pyro got you, little bro. Lol, you mean a fake pretender account. I never made it a secret. The video belongs to Dolan Dark. Credit him in the description then! Hey, Byron, Why are you, you so Pacific you're so Prime? scared to give credit that you'll do it in the comments? No one checks the comments, bro. Hey Byro, as an artist, it's really infuriating when it happens, but it's even funnier whenever they get called guilty. Remember Elon stealing some art? And upon getting called out, he had the black PFP phase, Lamau. Yeah, I just think yoinking is just cringe. Like, again, you know, you can say the same thing with me with the commentary videos, right? Like, you know, I, you know, it's just leeching off a topic. But again, like, credit is given. Like, I don't... You can literally see the entire video where it's from. Th this has nothing added to it. Nothing. It is just a direct... Re no, no, no. Something was added to it. The watermark was removed. That was the addition. That was this guy's Creative Commons license to use a software to remove the watermark. I, lo I love this. What do you mean, fake pretender account? I never... That is so annoying. Please fart on my face, Pyro. Thank you, Doug. Doug for the 60. Fart on your face. I might consider it for $60. Maybe. But yeah. I don't, I don't think there's anything else to say here, but yeah, what what a what a worm, actual wriggly little worm.
Oh, the 60 replies. I like, he's so like, he's so free about saying, oh, I give credit to, to Dolan Dark. It's like, bro, bro, you can, you can reply to every single comment saying credit to Dolan Dark. That will probably get Dolan three views on his channel. Like three views. It will get him nothing. Look at this, bro. He's at, bro. He's acting like he's going to the gallows. It's like, oh, he's like freaking out right now. It's like, oh, made by Dolan Dark, Dolan, Dolan Dark, oh, Dolan Dark. Bro, just just pull the video. You you act. What a wriggly little worm. Neil, I didn't steal his content. I gave credit in the comments. Stop sending your fans to hate brigade me. <laughs> I is that no that's, not him. that's not him that's not him did you see that dono changed. so what did a dono called witcher albert saying i didn't steal his content i gave credit in the comments no no it's true it's true he actually he did give uh you know what i should do guys i should stop uploading on slop and just re-upload charlie's videos just re-upload critical's videos exact same thumbnail exact same title Yeah, what are, what are the replies? What are the replies? I I imagine what he's going to do is... I don't think he'll pull the video. I think he knows. I mean, like, like if you look at the other stuff... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the other stuff. He's 600 views, 12K. 40K views. 40K. Like, that is on its way to being a juicer. Like, you know, 3K, 4K, 4K. Like, that. that is a juicer. That is a guarantee. Like, that. that has the potential to now go viral. Because he only posted that like two hours ago and it's already on 40k, which isn't insane for TikTok, but if it gets like tens of thousands in the first hour, it's got the potential to go viral. All right, we'll check the replies and then we'll move on. I just think that's really lame. I think that's really lame. You're acting like a clown. That's the real power, by the way. Fun fact, that's really the degenerate. Wriggly worm. Pretend, <laughs> pretend to recount Lamau. Thank you, uh, Braxton, for the 20. It's all in the head. That's the real pyro. Yeah, just everyone's saying it's real. I mean, he'll know at this point that it's actually me. Like, okay, this guy could actually be so delusional. He deleted my comment. No, he didn't. No, my comment's still there. Did he, did he delete it? Colon. I bought your formal hoodie, and after reading the back, I regret every decision I've made to purchase it. Did he de nah, he didn't, he didn't delete the comment. Yeah, that, that sucks though. Just yoinking content. There, there really, there really should be an option to like report content for basically just stealing. Cause it is, cause it is stealing. Like Dolan needs to get on TikTok ASAP and then actually post the, uh, he needs to post the video himself. Because if he post, if, if Dolan posted the video first, obviously you'd still get yoinkers, but you always would. But then everyone would be like, oh wait, that's Dolan's video. That's Dolan's video. Instead of like me having to basically remind, log out and check. Uh, let me open it on incognito and see if he removed my comment. Cause that would be like a major L. Like actual little bitch boy energy. Do, 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 do. Just joined. Are we looking at James Summerton's TikTok? Who's that? Wait. Oh my god, he removed my comment. He he actually removed it. He removed it. What a worm. What an actual worm. Yeah, he removed it. You guys weren't even capping. You guys weren't even I capping. He actually nuked awesome. the comment. He has completely original content and his hairline is amazing. He has a giant schlong. Moist critical only wishes he could create THR masterful art pyro easily produces. What an amazing content creator. The absolute best that we love. Thank you, Niles Alt. That's not my alt. Shut up. Also, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Why did you feel the need to edit out the watermark? TikTok algorithm. So you're just admitting that you want clout, bro. You're building clout of someone else's video. If stealing content was bannable, you'd be blocked from every platform. True. I don't edit out watermarks, though. I don't edit out watermarks. 
Is my I swear my comment's gone. I don't see it. I think he actually nuked it. Oh no, it's still there. It's still there. No, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. He didn't nuke it. He didn't nuke the comment. Fair enough. It just got like, even though it's the most liked comment, it got buried for some reason. Very bizarre. Usually like the way TikTok works, the top comment will always be on top. But yeah, I just love how he called me an unverified pretender account. All right, we'll, we'll go through the comments one more time and then, and then I'll move on because yeah, there's nothing else to say. But obviously, please watch Dolan's actual video on his channel. That's rich coming from a pretender account. Welcome to TikTok and Instagram, mate. Such a worm. Farting cynical. Yeah, fair enough. True. True. Yeah, I, th I don't think I don't think there's anything else to say here. Look at his new post. Wait, he did a new post. Oh my god, he's that rent free. <laughs> oh no, are you 45? Okay, okay, we know the guy running this account is actually middle aged. You do not use, you do not use that sound effect. The oh no, like whenever I see a funny video and they add in that oh no, 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 like the smile never, the, the smile does not vanish off my face faster. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. You you are 45. This guy definitely has, like, a, one of those, like, discount Android phones that has, like, the big fat leather case that's bigger than the actual phone. That's crazy. Bro, if you're watching me on stream, pull the video. Remove it. You're leeching off someone else. That's so lame. That's so lame. Pyro. James Summerton was a big one, a film wannabe who made queer analysis, which was all plagiarized from actual authors with no cred. Oh, and you mean now the guy? He made an apology, which he said he forgot the plagiarized content, and his oh. mom's dying wish was him succeeding. You mean you mean the guy that uh, H Bomber did a video on? Yeah, yeah, I got a video on that planned uh, later. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it on live because I feel like I'd be a bit of a react dandy. I kind of wanted to like articulate myself and stuff. So I didn't want to like kind of, I didn't want to be like, he said that, you know, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video on James Summerton's uh, response. I don't think I'll be able to tonight. I'll probably be able to get it out tomorrow. But yeah, like what a, what an L, what an L. That guy is such a loser. He should definitely just pull the video. It's like, oh, the, the TikTok algorithm. Oh, my, my, alg my views, my views. I know some people will probably make the argument he's only going to make like three dollars off, off that TikTok if any money, but it really doesn't matter because that like Dolan spent time making that meme and then you know just gets yoinked. Watermark stolen. Wrigley worm. Right. Okay. Anyway. 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 Kanito pet. I don't have time today. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I don't. I don't have time for Kanito pet today. I got some other stuff planned. Okay. Uh, wait, why is everyone Your saying theme song definitely is entry of the gladiators? <sighs> Click. Wait, what? Click is new video. Nah, I think we I think we're done. I don't want to react to that guy anymore. He sucks. So there's just nothing else to look at. Um uh, Yeah, what a worm. That's your yoinker. Welcome to TikTok, mate. Yep. Ugh gimmick accounts are a disease. Well, some of them. Right. I want to uh M for McDonald's hairline. Colossal, don't you need some sleep before the podcast, you old decrepit bastard? Pyro, your hair is looking super bouncy today. Let me sniff it. Dude, my hair looks awful today. I gotta I gotta wait for the oils to set in. 
My hair always looks worse like the day I style it and then it gets better throughout the week and then it gets too greasy, then I gotta wash it. Right, okay, okay, okay. I wanted to watch this video. I think it's very interesting. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a YouTube video. So maybe maybe do the thing on the side where you say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Uh so I've done a lot of brand sponsorships in the past, right? I've talked about uh VPNs, I've talked about more vpns I, I mean most of my sponsors have been vpns and then maybe raid shadow legends but one thing that i've worked with before well recently is air up right air up is this like flavored water bottle company where you put like a flavor pod on and everyone's saying m everyone's saying m oliver i'm banning you you piff, old bastard yeah i'm timing you out i'm timing you out I can't even time him out. My monitor isn't wide enough. Are you serious? Are you are you serious? Are you actually serious right now? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That that is that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hang on. I'm booting up my like 2009 webcam that's taking nine years to boot up. Hang on. Hello, Pyrocynical. Please stop bragging about being a sellout. And maybe you should spend all that money on an actual hairstylist so your hair doesn't look like a Minecraft hay bale. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, look at look at this. Look at this, right? Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. I'm trying to ban Colossal, right? Where is he? There he is, right? M. Look at this. I click on him. I click on put user in timeout. Where where's the option to time him out? Where is the option? It just says cancel. There's no option to time this old man out. Why can't I time him out? Chat. I cannot time him out. Mods, mods, someone, mods, mods, someone get him. Mods, seriously, someone get him. I'm not, I'm not having him sat there in the stream and he gets like diplomatic immunity. Why, why can't I time him out? I actually can't time him out. Mods, can, can another mod ban a mod? I actually can't time him out. Dude, what is wrong with YouTube? Oh, no, there we go. I got him. 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 Yep, there you go. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes in the gulag. 10 minutes in the gulag. Right, okay. Anyway, anyway. So. Um. Kinito Pets game part is like an hour long, bro. Unless you want to get into the actual ARG part, then I get not having enough time to do it. Thank you, Umbra, for the 10. Yeah, I'm not doing Kinito today. I don't have enough time. Uh, tomorrow. I'll do Kinito tomorrow, probably. Uh, hey, Byro, the Burger King in Bulgaria has a Happy Meal collab with Atomic Hearts and its promotion, the DLC. Check the Bulgarian Burger King Instagram. The first can't believe the mid-game joined the mid-burger place. Okay, I'm looking that up. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm looking that up. I'm looking that up. I'm looking that up. I'm looking that up. Hang on. Does my good boy want a drink? Oh, I'm skipping that one. I'm skipping that one. You sexy, sexy twink. This is my first ever dono, and I wanted you to have it. Much love from South Africa. I'm not a twink. Where do we keep getting this from? I'm not a twink. Dude, I'm 26. The wall, the wall is coming for me. Right, where, where, where is it? Where, where's the promo? Where's the promo? Where is it? It just says Sir Bacon. Who, who said there's, who said there's an atomic heart? Where is it? Dude, you're getting a timeout. Dude, dude, no, no, no. You're getting a timeout. You're getting a timeout. You want me to go to Burger King, Bulgaria? Uh, 
Oh, his name was Atomic Hearts Hater. No, you're getting timed out. I'm pulling up your PayPal. I need to find your YouTube name so I can, so I can ban you. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. Right, okay. Can I actually get to the story now? Jesus Christ. Right. So like I said, I've done a lot of YouTube sponsorships in the past. I've done VPNs, mostly VPNs. I've done uh, AirUp as well recently. And they, they paid me good money for it. They paid me very good money. Probably one of the biggest payouts from a sponsor ever. But to be fair, I did have to give them three videos, not just one. But I saw this video in my recommended. And it's called, uh, I tried air up so you don't have to. Now, th this is from a YouTuber called uh, Hippio, Hippio Tech. Uh, he mostly does like keyboards and stuff like that. He seems like a very talented creator. I don't know anything about keyboards. I'm not going to comment on that. But the guy follows me on Twitter. So I'm going to say he's a nice guy. But what, what I wanted to do is actually do a bit of a dive. Because as we know, like so many of these videos do well where they're like attacking a brand right where they're attacking like a uh, raid shadow legends review right so yeah is it worth playing uh you know there you go raid shadow legends is a terrible game three million views to talk about air up being bad maybe if it smelled like sweaty furry armpits you'd like it more i'm broke now from these donos i'm going to go sleep under a bridge peace can you put your card details in the chat before you go sleep under what the bridge? What do you mean you aren't a twink? That's like saying cows aren't animals. Accept your fate and send me your chair cushion. I don't have a chair cushion. I've got a Herman Miller chair. But I wanted to like actually have a comparison and think. So it's so easy to attack YouTuber sponsored brands, right? Because because we're, we're all so sick of them. Like, you know, you'll see every YouTuber doing like an Audible ad or a NordVPN or an ExpressVPN or an AirUp and you get really sick of it, right? Like I, I do these sponsors, I get paid for them. But when I watch another YouTuber do a sponsor of the same brand, I just roll my eyes and I skip because like we're all so sick of it, right? That's why like conversions are so low because people just skip the ads and stuff. But what, what I wanted to do is actually give this guy's video a watch because he's trying air up. And I, I actually want to see like if he's being honest or if he's being like a bit of a react Andy. Like, is he kind of overplaying if he's overplaying it? Because I'm assuming he's going to be quite negative because he hasn't been paid by them. Now, I do want to say again, like, like a little disclaimer. I have been paid. I got paid a lot of money by them. A lot. But this guy that... looks like Jason Brody after 12 years of meth and crack and colossal content. Also nice. Shilling, I'll make sure to check out the bottle or whatever. No, it's not a shill. I'm not saying to buy it. Bro literally fell for a gullible on the ceiling. Ask Joe. How is it gullible on the ceiling? I thought that'd be the, the twins. Shut up. But yeah, uh, I... I Okay, I, I do want to say they paid me a lot of money, good money. This is not sponsored. This is not like me as a shill going in against an anti-shill. Like my contract with them is done. I've got the money. I've been paid. I, I bought a yacht with the money. But obviously now I'm not sponsored by them. I'm able to speak my mind, right? So I think this is really interesting because so many people attack like uh, YouTube sponsors. But what if like we watch it and then because I'm someone that's consumed the products, like is it fact or cap? Hey Byro, you cock! I meant to type Belarus. The Burger King in Belarus is the way Belarus. The Atomic Hearts Happy Meal. You ablest prick, unban me. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll unban you if. Uh, hang on. It's Belarus Instagram account. Okay, it's the Be It's he said it's the he said it's the Belarus one. Based. Oh my. Okay, we might be going to Belarus. Where is that? Where is Belarus? Dude, like, she's literally surrounded by burgers and they missed the opportunity to make her fat. Like, like what, what's wrong with you? That is, that is incredible. That is incredible. I might be going to Belarus to get the Burger King meal. Okay, he gets an unban. He get he gets an unban for that. He gets an unban. You get the little fridge as well. If they if they did like 
one of the robot twins but fat i would first class ticket over there first class ticket over there believe me on that believe me right okay okay that that was that was a w dono that was a w dono right let's let's give this video a watch so many creators promoting this thing air up 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 i had to get to the bottom of this oh that's good i did i tried air up <coughs> so you don't have to because this okay i can already tell this is going to be a negative experience he is not going to be enjoying this product i think youtube water bottle promotion might just be more of a youtube scam what oh my god bro. this is gonna be bad uh, it's like dirt i mean that's a pretty big claim to say it's a scam to say it's a scam it's like those established titles right you remember those titles that you could buy like on a plot of land in scotland and it basically just ended up being absolutely nothing ending one save your friends ending to bang chiatra ending three take all the crack and meth you can find ass and then shit on a water bottle thank you mr blonde for the 10. This is a problem. I was scammed. It's kind of pleasant. What? <laughs> and we'll be getting into that. Did he use the Air Up logo to cover his cat? Yeah, he did. I I got a feeling he doesn't like Air Up. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Now again, again, I do want to say. Pyro wanting to go to Belarus for a Burger King meal on his own, but staying as far away from Birmingham other than when he's forced to go stays a lot. I mean, are you serious? I'd never go to Birmingham. I'm, I'm being paid to go to Insomnia. I wouldn't go otherwise. Fat patty served with a side of slop and air up as a drink. <laughs> they give you an air up with the Belarus, the Belarus burger. Also, I do want to say, because I feel this is going to get twisted a bit. I don't, like I said, I got sponsored by air up, but I don't have any stocks in air up. Okay. Like for example, you, you know, Cody Co, right? I mean, let's, let's, let's pull up a, let's pull up a Cody Co video. Hang on. Let's pull up a Cody Co video. I want to make a little example. Guys, here. uh, actually, it might not. All right, welcome back. He might not be doing it anymore. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's there anymore. All right, guys, you uh, might know. Okay, I was gone for. Um... Oh, I don't see it anymore. You know, there's. Oh, okay. Well, Cody Ko was another YouTuber who's like a, you know, very talented guy. He does commentary stuff as well. But he would always have a can of Liquid Death next to him on the table because he owned part of the company. It was shares. It was like subliminal advertising. So I, I don't have like no stocks, no shares, nothing. I got paid by them, but I'm actually still allowed to shit on them if I think something's bad. Right after we buy one. Now you're probably thinking, what is the air up? And who are you? And why are you so handsome? Well, howdy hey, I'm Hippio and I try things so you don't have to. I really hope he doesn't explain it because like how air up works is drilled into my brain after the ad read. It's scent activated technology. Now, as far as what the air up is, let me just Why why are we saying air air why are we saying shill cynical and air cynical in chat? Why are we saying that? Why are we saying that? Mods, add that, add that to the list of uh, censored words so they get timed out when they say that. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. Just have these creators explain it. Aerop is a hydration system that uses... Wait, someone just joined called Return of the Hairline. That's the first time I'm banning a member. That's the first time I'm banning a member. There's no way. I don't care you paid. You're not getting a refund. Scent-based taste. Scent-based hydration system. Scent-based taste. It adds flavor. It's actually to stuck. Water. It's stuck in my brain, bro. It's stuck in my brain. Scent-based technology. This is a power of scent, and this thing is fire. Now, typically, I try keyboards and tech, but in this video, I'm gonna be wasting my money on an air up, all of the scent pods to. Oh, we got them. We got them. You see here, we got the air up. We've got the uh, the little we got the little scent pods here that they sent me. We got all these, we're stacked. We're ready to go. See, why are your favorite YouTubers promoting it? Whoa, that is crazy. Wait, oh my God. Is it just for the- Okay, I mean, to be fair, he's showing an overreaction why there. Are your favorite YouTubers promoting it? He's showing an overreaction there, but these are literally the soy guys. Like I, like they are the soy guys. Like they would actually, like this guy looks like a Wojak. I don't even like that kind of humor, but he literally looks like a Wojak. They would, they would literally do a react Andy to anything. 
Whoa. That is crazy. Wait, oh. <laughs> what do you mean that's crazy? Oh my God, water, but flavor? What? Watching you has rotten my brain so much that when a friend told me he was filling up on gas, my first thought was inflation and not petrol. Thank you, Madeline, for the 10. Yeah, that's kind of worrying. This... Wait, 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 wait. Is that is that Mr. Beast in chat? That's not real. That's not real. Why is that dono bugged out? You should create a flavor for air up called Gamer Musk. That's Made not real. Out your underwear sweater That's not real. Street. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We might have Mr. Beast in the chat. We might have Mr. Breast in the chat. We might have Mr. Beast in the chat. Hang on. I want I want to do an experiment. We might have Mr. Beast in the chat. We might have him. Hang on. I can't screen share on this monitor. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Oh where, my where? soy. This water has a hecking flavor. By science, this is an amazing okay. invention. This Please might be... This IT might be now. Mr. Beast. This might be Jimmy. This might be Jimmy. I'm going to call him Jimmy because we're friends. Even though he doesn't follow me on Twitter. Um, and his mate, Carl Jacobs, hates me. But this might be him. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Go to the channel. If this is actually him, I might do a little soy face. Oh, dude, come on! Come on! What? I thought that was it. You're joking. I, ba I, I, am, I am never, I've never banned someone so fast in my life. You're gone. You're gone. You're, you are gone. You're done. You're, you're, you're being banned. You're being banned. Nah, you're gone. You're gone. There's no way. I thought that was actually him. I thought that was actually him. I thought we had Mr. Beast in the chat. And then we just get some, some guy doing like free gift card giveaways. Oh, God, you suck, bro. Yeah, that's that's an L. Don't don't do candles for the Mr. For, don't do candles for, for the for the fake Mr. Beast account. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's so cringe. Get baited, nerd. Yeah, you suck. Oh, shut up. I need to watch this. Oh my god. Is it just for the money or is it genuinely a good product? I'm I mean, it, it would definitely be for the money. Like if you're being paid to promote a product, you're obviously not going to say negative things about it. I'm putting it to the test and I'm figuring out why every time I take a sip from this I gag. Why did I do that bit? Why is that a good bit? That's not a good bit. Like I really want I, uh, This guy might have like hydrophobia or something. He might just actually have like an aversion to water. I see is this magic scented water or is this just a scam that happened to get millions of dollars behind it? Because I don't know about you, I'm leaning towards the second one. I'm leaning way over there. I have scoliosis just like my water bottle. I do, I do want to talk it's about me. my- I'm back, baby. Did you miss me, Pyro? I sure misses you. It's so great to be back. I'm so excited to share moments with each and every one of you. All hail naked 4K, all heal naked 4K, all heal naked 4K. We're not bringing the naked 4K bit hey, back. We're not. We're not doing that. That bit's hungry, dead. Hungry Thank you, Blank, for, for the 19. Sloppy slop. Love the shipwrecked 64 content and the feet reveal. Have a photo of it on my wall. Three. Nice chinny chin BTW. Anyway, have a nice time slopping. 33. Thank you, MRK, for the 10. Right. Okay. I do want to. Nah, you're getting banned. Nah, nah, you're getting banned. Mods, can we ban Critical Mass? Ban him. Do not time him out. Ban him. He, he, he does this every stream. $50 he will spend every stream doing that, that, that eating over and over. Ban him. I'm so sick of skipping that dono. And then, and then he tries to charge back on PayPal. Right, anyway. I was going to say, uh, so with, with Aerop, like my experience working with them, uh, they did pay a lot. But they were they, they were very they were very annoying to work with. Uh, when we went live with one of our videos, we accidentally put the wrong link in the description for like literally an hour, 
and because of that first hour they wanted us to do like a whole another video promoting them for free just so we got payout because when you read these contracts when you work with sponsors you realize that you're absolutely screwed they can like cut the deal at any time they can go zero payout if they go broke overnight broke overnight then they could just refuse to pay you so that that was annoying they wanted they wanted a lot also you might have noticed in my uh i'll, I'll show you an example here actually uh i'll show you my uh lethal company video hang on i'll show you my lethal company video uh where is it where is it the job there it is the job uh you might notice uh i don't know if i can find it so you remember these parts where it would cut to me on face cam for like basically no reason, right? Like it was a little bit jarring. They said to me in the video, you can't just shill air up. You can't just do a, a little bit for three minutes saying how great the product is. Your hair is really bringing out your forehead. I seriously suggest checking out Playtime with Percy. Very underrated game. Thank you, Blump and Ten Head Cynical. He gave $10 and his name was Ten Head Cynical. Right. So when I did the uh when I did the sponsor, they they asked me a lot to basically promote it you are the in YouTuber the in the video. So thank you for the brain rot. When is Darkwood releasing? Not 2 months. Uh, shut up for a minute, please. God, shut up. Just shut up. Okay. They didn't want just a promo. They wanted an organic placement three times throughout the video. So they wanted me to cut away to then having the cup in shot because I, I don't know why they wanted that. That was a really annoying and stupid request. We had to actually, we had a lot of this video. Well, not a lot of the video. We, we, had, we had like some bits of the video that were well edited and we had to basically cut them out just for me to be sat there in a hoodie with my three chins hanging out, just to be talking about like, you know, a gameplay element. And then this Arab Cups here, because apparently someone in the marketing department found out about like Logan Paul and KSI's Prime. And they thought if they just had it in every shot possible, all the little seven year olds would buy it. That didn't make any sense to me. That was very annoying. That was probably one of the, one of the worst experiences I've had with them. But I got paid a lot of money. I got paid a lot of money. So I don't know how bad it is. I don't know how bad it is. Also, one thing as well that, that, that was annoying. Uh, they had like a view. They gave me a flat rate. So what, what most sponsors do is they'll give you a, a CPM rate, which means views per thousand. That is a scam. Never do that. They always lowball you and they always make sure that they get the best. Basically, when you do CPM, you're playing, you're playing blackjack at the casino table, right? And you you will always lose. The house always wins. I have never charged back, you degenerate. You have charged back. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing stop doing the eating. Stop doing the eating. I'm gonna keep skipping you. Keep giving me free money. I'm gonna keep skipping you. Stop doing that. Power looks like a Victorian woman. Banned. Banned. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Dude, I feel like I'm doing like a test if I've got like ADHD or something. There's like seven things going on at once. Right. So yeah, they, they, they wanted the placement and then they offered me a flat rate. So no matter what happens, you will get this amount of money. But then they said as well, which is very intriguing. They go, we have a view guarantee. So if your video goes to a certain amount of views, we'll then pay you extra. Obviously, whenever they do that view guarantee, you will never hit it. You uh, Unless the video goes viral, you will never hit it because they sit there in their meeting room. They look at your channel. They look at their demographics and they purposely plan out to make sure you do not hit that mark. It's enticing, but you will not hit it unless the video the randomly goes viral back. i want to reach through my camera and kill you in a video game now in order to put air ups and these youtubers claims to the test let's head over to their website and see how much these water bottles cost as they're probably pretty cheap right oh they are they are pretty they're... expensive they are pretty expensive i i will admit you that they are expensive I will not be denied my biro body pillow with interactive body parts and functions. What? I've what? never read 1984, but I feel like a biro stream is what the book is like. How how is it how is it like my stream? How is it like my stream? Explain. 
I've done absolutely like, like I'm banning people that are doing the same unfunny joke over and over. Water bottles cost as they're probably pretty cheap, right? Oh, $32. Okay, that is expensive. They're probably what, what pretty was that cheap, model right? though? I think, what is that? Oh, that's the starter bottle. That isn't even the metal one. Okay, that's pretty expensive. You know what isn't expensive? You know what isn't expensive? My merch, guys. That's right. My merch. Look at this amazing merch you could buy. We got the cynical tea. We got the posters. We got the hoodie. We got the website where it, if you scroll too fast, it doesn't load and then it trails off because it's bugged anyway. Look at all this merch. We got socks. We got caps. We got the cute little keychain. It's such great merch, guys. Look at this website. It looks like a PS1 demo disc where you go on the little faces and they change. You will buy it. You will buy this merch now. You will stop watching this stream and you will click on the pin message or the top of the description and you will buy this merch now. Why are we saying L in chat? Why are we saying L? I gotta make a living, bro. I gotta make a living. Why are we saying L? I feel like your hair belongs onto to a Ken Barbie doll. I'm not even thanking you for the 10. Fuck off. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, $32 for the cheapest possible one. Okay, but let's customize my set. Maybe it's, wait, they also have a steel version. We're gonna need- that, that, That's what I've got. I got the, I got the little, I got the little stainless steel version. The, the Chad version. Need to try that out as well. Really guys? You're charging $5 more if I for a merch, different- Does it include the cute three foot two twink wearing it? I'm not three foot two. Color of plastic? What is this? GMK keycap? Oh, we're talking $8 for three flavor pods. But what gets even more egregious, $8. $8 for three flavor pods. It was just a silly joke about 1984 and how people have probably never read it. Sorry, a great slop master. I shall commit Sudoku to restore my family's honor. Good. God, if only, if only all of you could do that, I would actually be so much more happy when I stream. Right, so he makes the point saying, hey, shut Ira, up. I bought your keychain for 27 used with shipping. It was not worth it. I only got it because I got my financial aid. Wait, you bought it? You bought it? Okay, based. All right, all right. No time out for you. I was going to time you out. Right, so he goes on about $8, right? So I've got, I got one here. Uh, peach, peach iced tea. You can see it there. But what it actually says on the bottom is one part is five liters. So it's not like, you know, because it, it, if each part was single use and then you basically thrown it away, that would actually be the worst investment imaginable. But you get five liters. I think this is 75 CL. So, but no, it's 850 milliliters. So this is just under a liter. So you can basically fill this up five times and you got to swap the part. I've used some of the pods for longer than that. And to be fair, it does become a little bit grim, like the, the the scent, because like like the way this stuff works is there's no flavoring. It doesn't flavor the water. It just releases a smell into your nose. So it tricks your brain. Uh, so it, it doesn't, yeah, it, the, the flavor does go pretty quick, but you will get at least five liters out of it. Dollars for three flavor pods. But what gets even more egregious already, for the flavors for that sweaty, actually look young. No games hoodie so I can snuggle up with it before bed at night. Okay, I'm going to play that dono again. Just so all of you can hear that. Because I'm going to ban him anyway. But I, I want you all to hear that. I want you all to hear that. I bought a shirt already. But how much for your sweaty, warm, no games hoodie so I can snuggle up with it before bed at night? My sweaty, no games hoodie. So I can snuggle up with it at night. You need a father figure in your life, bro. That's, 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 that's bad. That dono is like, that, that dono is mind broken me. I don't know why. I can usually play off most of these donos. That one's mind broken me. That one is actually, that, I can't get over that one. 
know the worst thing is as well? That the guy who made that dono, the guy who made that dono, he probably sleeps. The guy who made that dono, hang on. The, the guy who made that dono, he probably sleeps on the floor like this. He probably just sleeps like this. Like a Scooby-Doo character or something like, like with his ass in the air or something. He definitely sleeps on the floor like that. Disgusting and banned. You are gone. Man, man. You are gone. If you buy some merch, maybe I'll unban you. You buy some merch, maybe I'll unban you. God, it is actually like working at a psych ward. I can't with you people sometimes. I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, that sold the chins. Hey, Byro, love the content and the Entropy Zero video made me play the entire Half-Life series and it's a lot of fun. Also, do you plan on releasing a Emesis Blue video? BTW, why does the roots of your hair look like mold? Nice arch on Pyro. I will be using this later on. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by Within that? What do you mean? What does he mean by that? Why, 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 why is chat saying Gyat? The native language why is chat saying Gyat? Why is chat saying Gyat right now? I'm curious. What is your favorite planet in our solar system? Also, is there any updates regarding members only streams? Uh, I'm gonna be trying doing- I, I'm gonna be trying- I- <laughs> Dude, Wendy Williams moment. I'm gonna be trying to do them once a week. And also, favorite planet in the solar system? Whichever one is fat and has a lot of gas. Right. Okay, can we- Jesus, can I, can I get to this video, please? Yummy. I'm glad Pyro's We're merch fits the sizes of the art he commissions. Well, they only go up to 3XL, so I don't think so. Fucking $13 for three. So this is just a constant expense. After three months, you could buy a new Hydro Flask. In total, we were out 148. I mean, that is a lot of money. That 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 is a lot of money. You're getting a lot of pods. But also, that is a lot of money. And also, you would have to keep buying them because it's like an Apple thing with like the lightning cables. Well, until recently. We have to only buy their products. So guys, we did it. We officially broke Pyro's mind with incredibly down bad donations. 250,000 cases of mentally deranged donators and still growing. The fact that we reached this number in such a short amount of time- Only, only you guys terrifying. would be celebrating me being mind broken. Only you guys would be celebrating me being mind broken. I love the merchandise, and I bought myself the cane, two t-shirts, and the hoodie. Shipping to Chechia was without problem. Packaging was maybe too good honesty. Also, I have to say, why people in chat hating on your hair? I think it's cute. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um. Mods! Why, why can't we ban this guy? Is there a single mod in chat right now? Is there a single mod in chat right now? Are they sleeping? Why can't we ban this guy? Mods, mods, add to the ban list to PayPal. Critical underscore mass. Ban him. Ban him. Jesus, you're Lagros in chat. Can't wait for my hoodie and the next main channel drop. Are you capping for the 10? I would buy your merch, but you don't have any plushies. Make plushies. Make plushies. Uh, we already made like two. Made like two versions. Second time back since our furry ordeal. It took you a long time in purgatory to regain my viewership, man. Thank you, Am, for the 10. US dollars for two water bottles and a couple pods. But that's fine if it's good, right? Pyro, Let's come I back in a week or two. You will cancel my first dono from playing. I am currently crying and cannot get over this tragedy. Can you send me a strand of your hair as an apology? I'm not doing that. I'm not sending you my hair as an apology. 
I'm in not doing that. In 2016 I used 25 seconds of one of your MLG videos in the English class I had. And literally claimed it as my own and got a B-. <laughs> no one knew who you were. Thank you, dude. How did you, you get... actually useful for once. Why did you use an MLG video in an English exam? How did you get a B- from that? The way the smile just dropped off my face. The way the smile just dropped off my face. Yep, skip, skipping that one. Don't make plushies. You know what they will do with them. They haven't done anything with them. Oh, well, yeah, they, they, they do put them in the jar, to be fair. I've been a fan since the prototype two days. Thanks for getting me through nursing school and slop to watch while I work the night shift. Anytime I place a Foley catheter, I think of you less than three. Anytime I place a Foley catheter, what hey, is that? Baro, I was just wondering how much would I have to pay for a close-up of your sweet, delicious, succulent feet on stream. What's up, Giant Cynical? Check new on the subreddit. Pyrosynthical. I'm not gonna. Honestly, Pyro. I'm not gonna. The only thing wrong with your hair is that it has too much water. We're tense. Shut up, IGN. It's not a ban. It's not a ban. It's not a ban. It's. I'm not getting banned for showing that. Pyro, my mummy said I couldn't buy your merch. <laughs> I'm banning you. He does this bit every stream, Make it's so unfunny. Plushies. I have like three League plushies and ten others sitting on my shelf, I need more. You have League plushies? Hell no, I'm not making more because of you now, it's entirely your fault. Jesus. And let's try it out. We are two, we are two minutes into this video. I've been streaming for a fucking hour because you people won't shut up. Now, in order to reach it's okay to be chaos, broken, Pyro. I Nothing a little fat furry porn can't fix. Thank you, Pyro Fairy Viewer, for the 10. Hey, Slappers. Welcome to the mukbang. Skipped. I'm not- I'm not doing the eating. I'm not doing the eating. You'll be kind broken and back broken if you're not careful with that arch. Can you stop, bro? I would buy your extra based hoodie, but you don't sell 4XL plus sizes. By the way, can you do that position again on the floor? I was this close to finishing. Cheers, cutie. What is that dono? And he called himself Parasitical as well on the dono. I'm I'm never I'm never doing that pose again. Get out. Now, in order I to reach peak chaos, in the I have Google avoided drinking water you. all morning. Because you're never gonna guess what just arrived. It's, it's the air up, the air up arrived. Look, it's Nola, she's playing. Kitty. Wow. Now at this point, all I was expecting was what all the ads I saw said. Helps me drink more water, I get through like two or three of these bottles. Tasty flavors. I never understand this cope. I never understand the cope of like, it helps me drink more water. Like, if you don't drink, if you are that mind broken that you cannot drink water without adding some kind of flavor to it, you need help. You you genuinely need help. Like, like these people that drink, like, Coke Zero all day and they don't drink water. Like, I'll admit, water is boring. It is boring to drink. So what I did is I just drink sparkling water all the time. And I, I'm cured. Like, I get hydrated and it's like, mmm, mmm, static water, yummy. I don't understand this cope of, like, Water is like, I, I can't ever drink water. It always has to be flavored. Pyro, please make plushies. He'll do anything if you do. We, we already had plushies. I'm literally slurping on this thing all day like a goddamn guinea pig, okay? So I was very excited. I like as well, one thing you probably noticed with YouTube sponsors, like including me, is like they, they border this very fine line of like irony and like cynicism. Because when he says, like, I I'm sucking on it like a guinea pig, that's like, he's fulfilling the brand by saying he enjoys it, but he's also kind of sniding it as well by acting like it's the best thing hey in the world, guys, and it's not. I'm driving to McDonald's. Do you want something? You going to McDonald's? Uh, I'll, I'll get the, uh, I'll get the fillet of fish. I'll get the fillet of fish, and I'll get, uh, a Tropicana. 
I always got that at McDonald's. Yeah, uh, may maybe some medium fries as well. But yeah, fill it, fill it a fish, please. That that's the best burger. The, the others suck. What what what? Why is everyone saying L meal? Why is everyone saying ew? What is wrong with fillet of fish? Do you guys not like fish? Do you not like fish? I bet I bet you guys in chat you just Quint order literally you order chicken nuggies and that's it. Arches, our hairline, three foot four hobbit, our multiple chins can wait to finish to the arch picture of my favorite wink. <laughs> Free my boy, critical mass. We're not freeing him. We're not freeing him. He's been banned. He's been banned. He's not coming back. Okay, everyone roasting fillet of fish right now. You literally go with your mummy to McDonald's, despite you being 25, and then you, you get like the, you, you, you get chicken tendies. Question, I feel like the warmth I would get from it would far exceed that of a hug from an extra large furry. <laughs> Thank you, man, man, for the tent. All right. That's so unfunny. I'm skipping that one. Good luck charging back. Good to see Pyro giving back to his community by running a daycare. Truly inspiring and wholesome. It's a, it's not. It's a, it's a it's a mental ward. It's actually a mental ward. Hey, Mr. Pyro, mommy is overhearing all these voices on my tablet. She is crying. Wait, now what does? Gaia mean what does I'm close mean? And I'm cooming. Mommy is taking my tablet nitrogen monoxide. <laughs> Okay, that that one was that was funny. That was actually a funny dodo. Oh, he, he, Pywo fan. He called himself Pywo fan. He's like, mummy, mummy taking my tablet. Mummy heard the word Giat. What is what is Giat Wiz Ohio? Right. Okay. I'll be honest, bro. You sound a little bit young to be watching me. I, I'm sure if you boot up a uh, twi boot up Twitch when you get the iPad back, look up Kai Sinat. Look up Kai Sinat. He does like funny Harlem Shake and stuff. It's cool. At worst case, it's going to be kind of like a scented candle hey, type of thing where I end up with a headache. I'm actually going to have to pause Donos. I cannot get like through a minute of this video. Negatively affected my development. I still love your content since 2014. I'm still waiting for the inflation pyro body pillow, though. The assignment was about how do you describe your innermost fears and insecurities. I described your video as a fever dream of being in a crowded community pool. I'm actually thankful for you, dude. No kidding. It apparently scared my class, bro. What? Hello, Byro. Have you ever read about the Talizora sweat theory? The Talizora sweat theory. Have you heard about the Talizora commission theory? I do that a lot. At the end of this, place your <clears throat> if that's foreshadowing or not. Also, big flopper. Right, okay, okay, guys, I'm gonna have to pause you donos. Like the type of man to enjoy a fish. I'm actually pausing donos. There, there, there's too many. There's too many. All right, I'll get a fillet o fish and 5,067 chicken tendies. Thank you. Thank you. Please get those chicken tendies. Right, I need to. Okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause Donos. I'm doing it just to get through this video. Because if, if I don't pause Donos, they're actually never going to stop. So anyone that's like just made a Dono or they're going to, it will come through. I, I, I just got to pause. I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're getting way too many. Uh, I've literally just had five Pyro come in right now. I paused the Donos. Water, Why are you so still coming you in? Wait, no, I paused it. Okay, it's paused now. It's paused. Okay, it's paused. All right, anyone that donos, I'll repeat the dono after. But I, I need to get through this video. Is out in full force today. Nola, give us a flop. Woo! Flopper! Big flopper! Also, a lot of you get oh, mad slash at me cats. because you think I force my cat to be in these videos. Who's doing the forcing here? Please comment down below. Who's forcing who? I don't get to choose this. I like how he censored out the cat's asshole in the beginning, but like, because he knows we're past the point where the video won't get demonetized because no one at YouTube checks, he just, he just blatantly has it. <laughs> I, I promise. She, I see. I don't force her to be in my videos, okay? Because she's very high maintenance. Look at her. Why does it have no fur? It's like a Bingus cat. It looks like the Bingus cat. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Come on. No, that's fine. 
Okay, first we have our flavor pots, and this is the most divisive part. Okay, I have, I have, uh, I don't have cherry. I don't have cherry. Uh, I have, uh, I got mango passion fruit, I got peach iced tea, and I got wild berry. So we both have peach iced tea, uh, but I don't have the others. About this whole entire product, because without the- Now, what, one thing I noticed with AirUp is you can actually, there's actually reviews for their products on the website uh and like, like like the flavor pods and some of them actually have like horrendous reviews hang on I'll, I'll see if i can have a look because some of them are absolutely like horrendous uh let's see if i can find chocolate orange pod wait the reviews are really high i swear one of them got one of them was like cherry and it got roasted Okay, that's a little bit odd. Okay, that that is actually a little bit odd because the last time I was on this website, some of the pods literally had like one star. And now they're all like four or four and a half, which I think is a little bit sussy. They might they might have actually changed their format here with the uh with the way stuff is reviewed. I do remember, yeah, yeah. They had cherry cola. So that's like that's four stars. That's really, really good. Let me see the reviews. Not good. Uh, terrible, seven out of 10. Amazing. The pod is amazing. It tastes like the cherry cola drink IRL. Good. Amazing. Hmm. That's weird. That that's that's weird. I mean that one's just in fucking German. flesh I don't know I don't know German. Petrol. Tastes like petrol and plastic. Absolutely grim. But there's a lot of there's a lot of negative reviews, but the fact that it's still basically four stars, that's a little bit weird. Why is there so many five stars? Best air... Oh my god, bro. Were you paid? Best air pod ever. Ever. For science. Okay. So, all... I do remember... I do specifically remember going on the website and the cherry cola was rated like two stars. Like, awful. And now it's jumped up to a four. So, so there might be some fake reviews on there. There might be some fake reviews to inflate all the numbers. Pyrocynical talking about inflation again. It's just a water bottle. Now, I have literally no idea what's inside of these, so I'm going to be opening one up later in this video. So stick around for that. But with so many options, which one do you even get? I think I'm most excited for iced tea peach. Normally, I'm actually amazed that no one has made the joke with Aerop that it's basically vaping. I'm amazed that no one has made that connotation because you're what the, the way it works is like you're you're sucking it in, right? You're sucking it in to release the flavor to release a flavor that goes into your nose and that technically goes into your lungs. So I'm amazed that no one has made a joke about vaping. The orange scented things give me headaches. So and Nola is excited for it too. That's so good, Nola. Great job. I don't actually see a world where watermelon is going to taste good if it tastes at all. Okay, fair point. Fair point. I think watermelon is like a marmite thing. You love it or you or you hate it. I hate watermelon. I think watermelon tastes disgusting. But now it was time to see if the actual bottle lived up to any of the hype. This is the basic air up, but now I'm no water bottle expert, but neither were any of the YouTubers that took the air up sponsorships. However, I drink water. I have a water bottle. So I'm gonna be a little bit experienced here looking at this thing. The basic product overview guides that I promise you I'll totally read. Oh, this is it. There you go. It feels- Yeah, n no one reads that. I got sent the instruction manual and I instantly threw it in the bin. I didn't know how it worked. And then I looked up a YouTube video like a sturdier plastic than I'm expecting. Now you're probably wondering, Hippio, why are you putting so much focus on the experience of unboxing the water bottle and the water bottle's actual quality? Well, that's because they advertise this thing as something that you're gonna wanna use every single day. So it's going to have to pass every single test that you'd expect of a water bottle that you'd wanna use every single day. That means no leaks, very important, 
easy to attach to things, which this hook is actually great for. And it also... I don't think it needs to be easy to attach to be a water bottle. No leaking, 100%. I agree with that. But I, I, but I think like having to have it attached to something, I, I don't really agree with that. It needs to be durable and easy to clean, which I'm a little bit skeptical about with this massive straw. But I'm already not very impressed considering this thing looks like it has scoliosis and it also costs as much as a metal water bottle. He's just like me. For real. Moving on to the quality and how easy it's going to be to clean. I mean, this straw is going to be okay. Yeah, it, it is expensive, but you are buying into a model, right? It's it's like how men's razors that you shave with. It, it's like the body isn't too expensive, but then the blades to replace are like really expensive, like five times as much as the actual blade. But with Air Up, the bottle is expensive and the flavor pods are also expensive. To clean with one of those straw cleaners, but this lid has that silicone finish on it that attaches every bit of dust to it. This product is also designed in Germany. And I mean, I don't really think that's a problem if it attaches dust. Like, I just always have it with a lid on. So I don't really, I don't, I don't really see much of a problem there. As long as you just keep the lid on it when you're not using it. Made in China. And um, a lot of people will pay a lot of money for things that are made in Germany be it a Leica camera or Cherry MX Brown, but that doesn't inherently make it good. Now, I got I got a feeling that that flavor there is going to be absolutely awful. Like, I, I, I do want to I do want to make this apparent air up when they sent me the flavors. They only sent me like fruit, fruit based flavors. The most like experimental one they sent me was uh, the peach iced tea. And I tried that one first that that one was all right. It wasn't like anything amazing, but they only really sent me like fruit flavors because I think they were kind of worried that if they send me their like experimental ones, like the cola cherry, I would have just been like, this is awful. Because even the peach iced tea, like like it does taste a bit artificial, but the the the, uh, the berry ones are, are really nice. Now I'll be looking at the quality of the water bottle a little bit more later because there are some oh glaring God. flaws. But first let's check out these flavor pods because I'm very, very curious. Now in order to preserve their scent, they're prepackaged in this little plastic wrapper. So you have to open up each one individually and they come in packs of three. This is the iced peach tea. Oh, it smells so fake. Okay, sh should we do this? Should we do this the same time he does it? Hang on. So he just said it smells fake, right? Hang on. Let me let me let me open mine on stream. I think I've got I think I've got like uh, I got two left in here. So if we if we open it, you can see it there, the little uh, little air up with its all its beautiful little microplastics. So we we peel it off the peeling experience. Oh, it's like when you uh, it's like when you peel the screen off a phone. All right, let me smell it. Oh, that that smell actually came straight off. I mean, it does, it does smell artificial. It does smell artificial. It doesn't, it, it, it smells like, uh, you know, when you get like, uh, it smells like, uh, you know, squash when you get squash, I wouldn't say like a sugar-free drink. It's like squash, but you know, when you smell like pure squash and it's like very overpowering, you're not meant to drink it. Like, you know, you're meant to dilute it with water because the, I don't know if you could see the, the flavor, the flavor's coming from, uh, you see that tiny little hole there? At the bottom. That that's where the flavor's coming from. Someone said my face when the artificial flavor is artificial. True. True. Alright, let's let's see what he It's kind of like you just walked into a bath and body works, but like somehow Gordon Ramsay violin. Even more chemical. You get all the joy of flavor without them pesky calories. Or chemicals or water with no God, they are just made out of soy. Jesus Christ. You know, the human body's like 70% water. They are just 70% soy. No chemicals added or nothing. No chemical. I know, I know H-Bomo did a whole video completely debasing the whole like soy testosterone thing. But I'm, I'm just going to say it anyway because it sounds funny. This is going to be bad. I'm going to get a headache. Now at this point, I'm not going to lie. I started to get pretty scared for what was going to face me once I actually try this thing. Now, I mean it... <laughs> YouTubers try to not overplay something challenge. YouTubers try to not catastrophize something challenge. Guys, here's your here's your keyboard fix. Look, there's a keyboard. Hippio Tech video keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. Natural flavor. Although, dear God, those chemicals expert, but they mentioned that all of these are made with natural flavor. Natural flavors. Yeah, that's like uh I, I drank some of this uh water for a while called LaCroix. 
Apparently it was big in America like a couple of years ago. And they say it's like natural flavors. It's sparkling water and they add just natural flavors of like lemon or something. But apparently it's a legal loophole where they don't actually have to disclose what that means or what it is. Although, dear God, those chemicals do not smell natural. Okay, now before we get too crazy by trying the plastic one, the Air Up Silver. Now, this is like their more premium Okay, th th this is the one I have. This is the one I have. Price. So I'm this is the big boy one. I've got a black one. Uh, I've got a, I got a silver one as well, but I gave it away to a mate. Oh, hey, it's actually heavy. But they're really putting a huge focus on the recycled material thing. Um... Excuse me. How is this eco-friendly? Like, I don't care if you just. I, don't. I will be honest as well. This this bottle, like like I know this is a bit of a shill, and I said it in the sponsor. I did use this bottle. It, it wasn't like a product where I just used it and I was like, ah, I'm gonna throw it away. Like I don't care about it. I did actually use it for a little bit because it does like, it does like a six out of ten job at keeping water cool because I've got like a fridge right next to me. But then if I keep a bottle out, it's going to warm up in the room because like my PC and stuff. The only reason I stopped using this is because I now just buy like glass bottles of uh, San Pellegrino because I'm like a massive shill. So yeah, I, I, if I didn't do that, I would definitely keep buying this. I, I definitely keep it in the air at bottle. Oh, want to be eco-friendly? But like, please don't make the claims that you're eco-friendly and then have this much plastic waste on a recurring basis. Be your product this is no better than Q i mean that's a fair point that's a fair point i don't know if like any of the plastic is actually recyclable this this is recyclable it does say on the back that you can actually recycle it which is a fair point but that was i, I do actually remember that there was nothing they didn't actually mention anything in the talking points for the ad about sustainability they just kind of wanted to talk about like the flavor experience in your brain Keurig, I can't really judge. I run a channel based on keyboards and keycaps that are made out of plastic and... Anyway, the bottle. Whoa, she chonky, hot dog. This reminds me of like one of those soup thermoses, but like in the worst way possible. It's got a really nice like silicone band right here, similar to the other one. The lid is plastic. I dropped it. Why does it feel so much cheaper than my really, really cheap? I don't. I don't think it feels cheap at all. I think. I think it's very. I think it's very stylized. Like I, I like. The, I like the style of it. I, I sound like such a shill right now, bro. But but I like the style of it genuinely, especially the black version. The the, the cheap plastic ones that are like thirty dollars, thirty six dollars, they don't look good. I would not. I would not buy them, and they're overpriced, one hundred percent. Shouldn't this be really premium? You ever go to like a fair? Oh, I like and you the steel free ones. Water bottle, and it's metal, and it stinks really bad after you use it like two times. That's what this feels like. So all. Why are we saying hashtag ad? I'm not being paid for this. I already said. Ready. My expectations are pretty low. Bro, you got paid already. Shut up. Now with the first impressions out of the way, I feel incredibly dehydrated. So it's time to actually get this thing working. Now the setup is wash your water bottle, easy, most of you could do that. Then fill it up with water, also easy, most of you can do that. But then pretty quickly I started to run into a problem because as I was running some tests, that's gonna be a problem, I think. Does your water bottle do that? Is that normal? Okay, maybe it's just the lid. Wait, 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 wait. Does it do that? Does it, does it do that? I mean, to be fair, you're basically holding an open water bottle upside down, right? Does it actually... Hang on. Okay, this is full of water right now. Should I try it? Should I try it? Oh my god, it does! Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, that's that's not good product design. That that is not good product design. What what Okay, that that there might Houston Houston we might have a problem. We might have a problem. Now, I do want to say, I do want to say in Arab's defense, would you have a, an open uh bottle of water and hold it upside down i don't think you would I, I just don't understand why it comes out this end and not on the top that doesn't make any sense 
That's not very good. That's quite bad. But that being said, would you really hold an open water bottle upside down? I don't think you would. But still, that's... Oh, that's crazy. Maybe I need to like... Won't that leak all over your bag? This is a problem. Okay, what about the blue one? Maybe the blue one is a lot better. No, it's not. Like, like if you did the premium one, th this one's just going to be even worse. It won't leak. Let's find out. What? But again, though, to be fair, you are holding an open water bottle upside down. Like, like air up, air up does come with a lid. You see this here? Th this air up does come with a lid. Now, if you lost this lid, I, okay, I do want to admit, if you lost the lid, you are screwed. Uh, I, I, I will totally make a concession to that, definitely. But it, do, it does come with a lid. I, I hope he does show the lid. Is that intended? What if I put the lid on? Okay, okay showing the let's lid. Let's say you just have yep. it upside down for a while. Okay, we'll that, that, that's plausible, right? You stick it in your bag or something, you're traveling, fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna set it right here. We're coming back to that. The actual build quality and quality. I, I, don't know, I don't know why he's like, we'll come back to that. It's like, you've put it upside down. I don't think water takes time to settle. <laughs> the bottle in it's general not cement. is really lackluster, which makes me wonder if you're making an absolute killing on these scent pods that people have to constantly buy, why would you skimp so hard on the build quality? quality of your i think i think the build quality is fine but like that was bad i mean this bar looks cool though you know you got the little thing that comes out the little big straw but that like like holding it upside down let me let me do it one more time i gotta just that's not good dude there is there is water or oh, i've been doing this right next to my pc I've been doing this right next to my PC. I've only just realized. Okay, that is not okay. I I need to get like a towel. I need to get I I I need to get a towel or something. This okay, why don't I do that next to my PC? Alright, I got I got a towel. I got I got a towel. I need I need to like I, I need to clean up I need to clean up this water. This is uh this is not this is not good. It is near my PC. I gotta I gotta clean all this up. I got like a dual PC setup. I don't want it exploding. Alright, I think I I think I got I think I got most of it. Alright. Okay. All right. Let me sniff the towel. It's just my body towel. On your knees. Tw <sighs> Jesus. Water bottles. I don't get it. Why? Maybe it's because these scent pods are just incredible and they're going to give me insane flavors and they're going to blow my mind. This is me trying air up for the first time. I was genuinely shocked that it worked. It felt like a magic. Okay. I love Jarvis. I love Jarvis Johnson. I, <laughs> I love Jarvis Johnson. I think he's a great commentary channel. I love that whole scene. You know, uh, Jarvis, Drew Good, and Danny Gonzalez. But like, I mean, soy facing? You didn't need to soy face. You, you didn't need the open expression. You didn't need that. Like, you know, in, in, my, in my ad read, 
I was shilling it, right? I I'm being paid. I'm obviously going to hype up a product, right? Obviously. Like, I'm not going to lie about it. But, and I, and I did genuinely use this product, like, when I was done with it. 100%. Because it was convenient. I didn't have to keep running and getting a glass of water. I'd usually just drink Fiji water, but that's obviously sat in a plastic bottle. And I thought it's sitting in, like, an aluminium or, or whatever the material is, like a metal container would be better than being sat in just plastic all day like in my room that gets really hot because uh you know like, like all the uh the computer wattage or whatever you know room just gets really hot but i i i, I didn't soy face that's the point that's the point i'm trying to make it felt like a magic trick keep in mind i still anyone that donated by the way it will come through later i just want to get through this video I still haven't drank water yet today can you tell how dry my lips are pov water oh, i want to put on chapstick after seeing that i'm gonna i'm gonna put on chapstick after seeing that that was yeah that was that was pretty bad it's bad now i know what you're thinking oh hippo you just put the lid on wrong you need to do it correctly but no i tried literally everything I looked at their guide. The hole in the back of the straw is there to make the flavor pods work. I think their quality control is just so bad that there's a gap in the back of their water bottle. We've come back. I don't know about that. I mean, like, it, it is funny that it comes out both sides. But again, you need to turn the bottle upside down. If, if there was leakage when you have it upright, that's bad. That's a terrible product. That's a terrible product. But there's no leakage. One thing I did notice is uh, it does say... They, they did tell me in the ad read specifically, and it does say in the manual, you you can't tip it. You can't tip it when you drink it. You have to, like, keep it straight when you drink it. You have to do, like... Because if you tip it, it doesn't, like, work as well. You can tip it a little bit, but not, but not too much. Back to this. It's been about five minutes. Is this lid full of water? So it didn't leak out. However... Yes. I mean, he is still holding it upside down while he's unscrewing it, to be fair. So that's like, it's it's going to leak out as soon as you do that. This lid is... I mean, to, to be fair, in Arup's defense... Oh my god, I'm defending a multi-million dollar company. I'm down bad. In Arup's defense, you don't open... You would not open an Arup cup upside down. You would not do that. Like, like who 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 opens their water like this? No, no one does that. Like, like, okay, okay. Let me, let me pour it upside down. Give it a little shake. You can hear. There's definitely still some water in there, right? And then if we quickly open it, right? We'll see. Okay, there's no water in there. There's like a little, a little puddle. There's like a little puddle of water there. Like a... There's like a little bit of water. That's not that great. I mean, I could try and do it upside down, but we know what's going to happen. It's going to it's going to go everywhere. I'm not doing it in my computer this time, right? So if we if we open it upside down and then we unscrew it. Yeah, I mean it's just, it's just, it's just going to leak out. It's just going to leak out. But obviously, you wouldn't really, you know, open an air up cup upside down. But let's say it's been like, you know, Let's say it's been in your bag. It's It's been shaking around a bit, right? You, you've stuck it in the bottom of your bag. Oh my God, it's leaking right now. Wait. Wait, it's... It might actually be leaking right now. Dude, I'm trying so hard to defend this company. Hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, let me, let me wipe this clean. Let me wipe this clean. Dude, they are never going to work with me ever again. I mean, let me wipe this clean and do like a neutral test, okay? Because there was a bit of water left over, to be fair. Let's just clean the whole thing out. And then, let's clean this out. All clean, nice and clean. Okay. That's clean. That is also clean. Okay. Screw it on. Nice and tight. So it's been in the bag. It's getting shaken around a little bit, right? It's, it's, it's in your bag. Right next to all your, your mangas of like uh, Attack on Titan or whatever. Okay. It goes upside down a little bit as well. And then we open it. Is there any water? Okay, there isn't. There isn't. There isn't any water there to be fair. Okay. Okay. So it can, it can survive the bag test. It can survive the bag test. Opening it upside down. Uh, not really a good idea, I think. Not really a good idea. 
full of water. Who in their right mind wants their water bottle to do that? This is not a water bottle. That's already almost a death knell for this thing. Now, a water bottle has one job, and that's to hold water. So when the water bottle doesn't hold water, you've instantly failed the water bottle mission. But even worse, the lid doesn't sit straight. Leaking everywhere. Oh no, that's a lot. Is, is mine, hang on. Hang on, is mine leaking? I mean, let me, to be fair, I got the premium one. He's got like the poor, the, the poor people one. Okay, there's, there's no, there is no leakage. To be fair, there, there is, I'm not getting any leakage, but he is using like, he's using the standard. I'm using like the premium battle pass. So with my water bottle that doesn't hold they did, water. For, for Air Up, they did only send me the highest premium ones. They sent me two of the stainless steel ones. They didn't send me a plastic one. It was time to see, will it hold flavor? Now I have The bottle's empty? No, no, listen. The bottle's not empty. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. You guys about the quality of your bottles. Some said they leaked. Some said it was fine. Some said the flavor was great. And some said there was no flavor. So I have no idea. Okay, we've got both water bottles here and I'm gonna be trying them for the very first time. Now, of course, I need to try it without any of the scent pods. The way Aerop works with the pods is actually quite odd. And I feel it's gonna turn a lot of people off. I'll, I'll wait for him to explain. He might explain it first, but th th there is something very strange about it. Water, if I slurp it, it goes. <laughs> All right, this one does the same thing. Both of them deliver water. Congratulations, you're a water bottle. This is not a water bottle. Now, I've got a million different scent pods here. The iced tea peach noted that this one smells absolutely terrible. Okay, okay, he's, he's got the peach. He's got the peach. I've got the peach. Let me get this, let me get this, let me get this bad boy on. Oh my God, it leaked again. It leaked again. There's no way. There's no way, bro. I'm 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 literally hyped up on on hopium right now. I'm on copium. I'm trying so hard to like make this out to be like such a good product. I'm really trying to defend them, man. It leaked everywhere. Okay, that's not very good. That's that's actually not very good. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's put let's put the pod on. So like I said in the ad read, you know, you just you put it down. You give it a little. You gotta you gotta really you gotta really press it in. You really gotta yeah there we go okay it's in it's in now now the, the way it works with the flavor pod it is a little bit weird so with the flavor pod okay so i fully pressed it down right you can see it there it's fully pressed down so if i suck on it now it's just water it's just water it does nothing so that is just a normal water bottle nothing's changed but to like activate the the scent based technology you need to pull it up. You pull it up so the cap reaches just before the nozzle to pull it off. So you kind of lift it up and then you suck it. And then I get the flavor of peach iced tea. Now, it's not peach iced tea. It's more like peach iced tea, zero sugar. You know, when you kind of get that artificial taste in it. It's not like amazing. If you're drinking water all day and you do not want like a single E number or artificial flavor to enter your body, this is good for you. But obviously for flavor, I, I got to give this a, f a like, like, uh, like, like a six, like a six out of 10. Now, one thing that's really weird about it as well is like, when you lift it up, you might you might hear like like the little kind of like water bubbling sound. So the the water when you lift it up, it kind of kicks against the back, I think, to release the uh, whatever the the flavoring they've got in there that enters your nose because you don't actually consume any of the flavoring, which is one really good thing about it. But because it, because it keeps kicking up that flavor, when you do like a full mouthful of water, you're only getting like three quarters, if that makes sense. You're actually like taking in a lot of air instead of like actual water. It's mostly water, but you're definitely getting like a little bit of air as well. So it's it's almost like a little bit awkward. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. I'll be honest, after sparkling water, I can never go back, but it's, it's all right incredibly what i what i do want to do actually i want to try 
I want to try. Uh, I want to try another flavor. So we've got. Okay, chat. Are we are we doing mango passion fruit or wild berry? Which which one of these are we doing? Mango passion fruit or wild berry? Which one? Which one should we try? Wild berry. Okay. Yeah, let's do wild berry. Let's give that a try. All right. I'll get. I'll give this one a taste. I don't actually remember if I tried this one in the ad. Dude, Arup are never gonna work with me ever again. After this, it's it's over for me. All right. So we we put it down and then we pull it up and then okay, wild berry. What is that flavor? That's that's a flavor. I don't know if that's berry. That that that's definitely a flavor. That it's definitely not. Dude, I can't even I can't even tell what that is. I can't even tell what that is. Why why are we saying suck it dry? Why are we saying suck it dry? Yeah, that's... I feel more thirsty after I drank that than before I drank it. Incredibly fake. So let's start with this one. Now, they're very specific about how to use these things. So if you just put the scent pot on, then you're going to get a bad result. Did I do that wrong? I don't taste anything. Let me go grab the manual. Maybe I did something wrong. Okay. Okay, I might be stupid, and this is why you read the manual, because apparently you have to like- I can't, I, I, I need to try this again. It's definitely a berry. It's definitely a berry. I'm just not sure what kind of berry. Oh, I popped it up. Now, theoretically, this is where I'm going to get flavor. Mm. Okay, so which one is he trying? He's trying like the icicle swirl, right? Guaranteed, that's going to be horrible. Because they're, 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 I feel that their fruity flavors are like the best ones. And even they're a little bit like... Eh. They get the job done, they're the workhorse. But like these ones, I think there's definitely a reason why Arup did not send me this flavor. Maybe that's why they call it Air Up, Hippio. Up, up. Oh. At this point, the chemicals hit the back of my throat and... Oh, no. Oh. I was overwhelmed by the flavor. <coughs> oh, my God. This tastes like vomit. <coughs> oh, my God. Okay, he's, he's definitely being a react Andy. He, he's definitely Andying it up a bit. But again, like, it's, it's a YouTube video. I get it. I get it. But, like, I, I, I know for a fact that would not be a nice flavor. Because these already taste a little bit artificial. But that would be like another level. Like, like, like that would be just nothing in that is even real. Not peaches, not iced tea. That's terrible. There's flavor. There is flavor. It tastes of something, but it's vomit. This is genuinely one of the worst things I've ever tasted. Oh, that was the uh, peach iced tea. Oh no, that was like the one that I thought was all right. Tasty flavors. Oh, that's good. Now, maybe I was just... I like how he keeps cutting to try guys because they were just like, they probably have, they probably own half the company. Just being too dramatic and I needed to try a different flavor. Raspberry lemon is probably going to be pretty good. <laughs> kind of smell. Okay, that's, yeah. Like, 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 like he's being a react Andy, but again, it's it's a YouTube video. I, I get it. Of Swedish fish that were in a and also he's not being paid by them and he probably knows he's never going to get work from them. So I, I get it. I get it. Bathroom that you just cleaned with uh, Lysol. Let's try the metal air up for this one. Lemon raspberry going in. The flavor really catches you off guard here. Ugh. This is coming from the guy who likes to smell farts, by the way. How many months have you been a member? How many, mom how many months have you been a member? You've been a member 10 months. All right, I won't ban you. I won't ban you. I like, I went on his profile and I've timed you out two times prior. Bastard. 
there's something to it. The fruitiness is coming from a vomit flavor. All right, thank you, TB, for the 50. I uh, wanted to say you've helped me through some hard times and keep up the great work. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, TB, for the 50. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. There's an essence here that's happening. Okay, this is just an update like an hour later. All of my burps taste like chemicals. There's no way people actually use this, right? At this point, maybe I thought I was doing something wrong. I gotta try this again. Like, where's the berry? The thing is like, okay, if, if, if you're drinking water every day and you're bored of it, Aerop is probably a good product, right? But again, it's like, you could just always have like a Coke Zero or something. But if you don't want to put any chemicals in your body, this kind of makes sense. But yeah, I, I mean, like, I'll be honest. If if the flavor technology here, like through sniffing it, was like absolutely game changing, then I don't think they'd be asking YouTubers to promote their product. I think you would be hearing about this in the news and it would be selling out absolutely everywhere. And then I think like, you know, big drink companies would actually be shitting themselves thinking that you know because everyone wants to be more healthy right everyone wants to be more healthy apart from the stuff that i commission right so that's why you know instead of coke people have diet coke or coke zero and then even you know all oh, the asparagine the sucralose the, there's cancer links even though there isn't so that that is why people want to be more health conscious so something like this does fill that quota but again, I think it's that point where it's always going to be niche. Like, there's a reason why they're asking YouTubers to promote it and not, you know, it's not being sold, like, everywhere in, like, every single Walgreens or Tesco's or whatever. Wrong. I needed to read the manual again, but there's... Someone said water vape. <laughs> water vape. <laughs> no way that this... What a vape! Can be bad, right? Orange vanilla swirl. This one will be awful. We know you're gonna hate this one, bro. We know you're gonna hate this one. <coughs> it literally smells like a car air freshener. Like, I'm not insane, right? I think I need to get a second opinion. Let me try this first, and then we're gonna get a second opinion, maybe a third opinion. Maybe everybody's gonna get herpes. Orange vanilla swirl. I just, let me try it in the other bottle. It's not pleasant whatsoever. Now, with my experience being overwhelmingly negative so far, I had to figure out what was inside those pods. So I took one and I pried it open with some tweezers. And I was expecting, like, I don't know, something. But it was literally just a piece of cotton. Oh my god, it is a vape. Oh my god, it actually is a vape. Bro, I got, I got paid by this company. It actually is a vape. It's a water vape. They even have the little coil in it that they put in vapes. Bro, it's over. It's actually over. I mean, I, I knew there was some kind of like foam in there, right? To like keep all the flavor in of the, uh, that you smell. Soaked. Someone in chat said you promoted a vape. Didn't Ludwig like work with marketing in like a vape company? So I've still, I've still got a bit of respect. In flavor. Well, quote unquote flavor so then i thought like maybe it's like a cilantro thing where some people hate it and some people don't so i Pyro vapes confirmed i have never vaped in my life i'm so happy that i've never vaped thank god grab two of my friends i didn't tell them what we were doing and i surprised them with trying this water bottle so take a take a sip of this water bottle real fast oh i mean there's like a little bit of something i feel like is that supposed to be lemon it doesn't taste um... like lemon <laughs> Whoa, it just tastes it. like water, but you can smell it. And I don't know if it's good or bad. It's I mean, bad. It's not good. It kind of tastes plasticky. It, yeah. it definitely tastes artificial. I'll agree with that. It definitely tastes artificial. But again, it's like YouTubers are promoting it. So they're obviously marketing it to people that are just sat in front of their computer all day. And, and I'll be honest, I'll be honest, 100% guaranteed. It is so much more healthy for you to be drinking water from an air up and getting like, a little bit of enhanced flavor through your nose compared to just like drinking G Fuel or Gamer Sups all day, right? Like I've been promoted by Gamer Sups as well. I'm even looking into like buying shares into their company. Like I like Gamer Sups. I like the, the fat woman that they, they drew on the cup for me, even though it was too skinny. But like, like it is so much more healthier to be drinking water out of this than like, 
if, if you're bored of water, I mean, if water is boring, genuinely boring, then this is like a good alternative than using scoops of G Fuel. Like, uh, I, I've got G Fuel. Uh, I bought some Criticals G Fuel and PewDiePie's. I, I've got it. It's like uh, hydration powder. So it has no caffeine, but it still will have like loads of E numbers in it and stuff. And that's not good for you long term. So I think even having like something that tastes a little bit artificial, it can still be beneficial if you're sat in front of a computer all day and you need to, you know, hydrate in like the most healthy way possible. And you still find drinking water on its own just boring. Or you could be a Chad like me and just drink sparkling water. The Chad move. Yeah, yeah that's a good way to yeah. So that was cherry that you just tried. Whoever told you that is incorrect. That's that wrong. was not cherry. Okay, now here's a different one. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like dirt. <laughs> it's like why is that? Why is everyone saying stand up? Oh god, that is a chemical. It's like uh, de perfume dirt. <laughs> dirt de perfume. Wait, I need to figure out what this is. Okay, I'm almost gagged. <laughs> So they weren't impressed with the flavors at all, and some of them grossed them out. But what would they think of the quality of the water bottles? Maybe it's going to redeem everything. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, why would you tip an open bottle upside down and then get surprised when water comes out? That, that, that's one of the things I think in this video is, like, kind of dishonest. Because it, it is an open container. Like, wait a minute, if I get a glass of water and tip it upside down, the water leaves the glass? Holy. This is not a water bottle. I was scammed. That's how I would feel. Womp womp. Yeah, womp womp. Now, their reaction was overwhelmingly negative, so I thought, okay, I'll get one last point of view to confirm everything, and then we're good, science is done, but then something changed. I had the scent pods sitting out in open air for a few days and then had another friend try them, which actually changed everything. Hi. Josie, I need you to take a sip from this water bottle. Interesting. Is it good? It's not bad. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? It's kind of pleasant. What? <laughs> It's over. I mean, it's like really strong. It's over. And His it entire kind of video like, has been like debased. Perfume. It is over, it's boys. Not horrible. Wait, pack it up. It is over. It? Okay, it's I over. I need her to try different flavors because maybe this is a fluke. Maybe it's a fluke. No, it's kind of fun. I don't think I would want the smell in my face all day. I'm like really confused. Hold on. Let me try. Arthur Morgan said in chat, I'm simping for her. Least parasocial viewer. That's terrible. <laughs> Wait, you genuinely think that's good? I don't think it's bad. Are you kidding? I, th I think <laughs> that that is the best takeaway from Air Up. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not like life changing. It's just like, you know, like, like, like me, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a hermit. Like apart from working out, I never leave the house. And I'm just always in front of the computer, like, like uh, scripting or voicing or, uh, you know, doing videos or meetings. So, like, th this for me is convenient. Would I take this around with me, like, wherever I go? No. No, I wouldn't. I'd just go buy, like, a bottle of wa uh, water from, like, a corner shop and contribute to, you know, the world ending because of, like, uh, all the plastic bottles and stuff like that. But at home, it was decent until I started buying, like, glass bottles for myself to just stay away from, like, plastics and stuff. So I think, I think overall, it's, it's, it's like a 5 out of 10 product. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. But also the flavors can be, I can't even tell what flavor this is, bro. It's like, I still can't tell what flavor that is. It's, it's a flavor. The water no longer tastes like water. It tastes like something. It's not bad, but I can't tell you what that flavor is. Bizarre. Right. I think, I think we're done with that. But yeah, that was a, that was a very good video by uh, Hippio Tech. Seems like a really nice guy. I'll probably drop him a sub, actually, but I'm not on my YouTube account at the minute. I'm on, like, a, an alt account. Uh, no, just so my algorithm doesn't get completely fucked up. Right, what else have we got? I know we've got another funny story. Uh, hang on a minute. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you guys... Okay. Have you guys... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, uh, let me unmute Donos. 
Donos, donos should come through now. It should start to come through. Yeah, let me let me unmute, unmute the alerts. It might actually take a minute for them to uh, come through. Uh. I think they're bugged, actually. I want to smell that part the same way I smell your hair. I bought your merch after you shilled it 10 minutes ago. Notice that whenever you look really annoyed, you kind of look like my girlfriend, which gave me a realization. Is your girlfriend a man, by any chance? There's something related since we're talking about scam products. Have you ever been given a promo for Kamito knives? No, I've never done a sponsor with them. I can't wait for the keychain to come so I can crash and die. The police will know I was a degenerate. Uh, I saw your towel and sniffed my screen so hard the pixels died. Dude, I gotta ban this guy. Looking for... Looking a little greasy today. I put... I put... Spo I, I put moisturizer on. Uh, sparkling water. AI generated Willy... Have you seen the AI generated Willy Wonka thing in Glasgow? I have! That's what I wanted to talk about. That's what I wanted to talk about. Okay, donors are back on now. Uh, let me just... Yeah. They'll take a minute, but they will come back on. Uh, yeah. The... The... Uh... Have you guys seen the uh, Willy Wonka AI generated? Bro, this was on the news today. This was, a this was actually on... This was on the news. Right, let me, let me, let me, I, I gotta do the intro again. This is going on YouTube. I gotta, I gotta get into, uh, I gotta get it. Right. <clears throat> so, have you guys seen the AI Willy Wonka attraction? Uh, this is apparently a thing that was going on in Glasgow in Scotland. And it was so big, I saw like ITV News talk about it, which is like one of the biggest uh, news companies. I, I was sat there with my, uh, my mom and dad just like watching it. I was just like, what the hell? How has this even been covered on news? Right. Police were called to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after family showed up to an empty warehouse. The event reportedly charged $40 for entry, advertised with AI art, and said it would be a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. Kids were all dressed up and crying, waiting for what they thought was going to be a magical experience. Now, do you see something wrong with this? This is all AI. How can you tell? Because the, the the hands, it's always it's always the hands. It's always the hands. Uh... Hang on. I'm still trying to get the donors to work. I don't know why they're not, they're not working. They're not coming. I can read them, but they're not coming through. How much longer till the game of subs cup ships out? Uh, it, they told me March. I think it's March. How's life recently? Hope it's been well. Today's my four year anniversary. My girlfriend based. Nice man. Have a good anniversary. Based. Parasynical, my boyfriend is trying to get me into My Little Pony again. What should I do? Leave him. Leave him. That's like some Chris Chan stuff. Leave him. That's weird. So, someone in chat said Ricky Berwick hand. Uh, am I going to do a video on what happened with Wilbur Sutt? Hell no. Absolutely not. Uh, I, I, I said this about the Too Mad stuff. Like, like, like stuff like that always... Uh, it always develops. It always develops. Like whenever whenever a YouTuber gets called out, it always develops. Like with Super Mega, like with Too Mad. You, you gotta wait on stuff like that. Jumping in is just very, very bad, I think. You really need to wait. And also the waters are a lot more murky when it's like people that you know. 
um you know i mean i mean a good example is like back when i had like my uh my allegations like back in 2020 uh like you didn't see critical do a video on it like you you've got to be very careful because stuff always tends to actually evolve over time so yeah no i'm 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 definitely not no 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 video on that absolutely not definitely not Super Mega's back? What, are they back upload? Are they back to uploading? Are they back to uploading? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so you can see the AI art here. It just looks absolutely terrible. Like, what? What is he holding in his hand? That looks like a TNT detonator. That actually looks awful. That does not look like Wonka Land. That looks like that looks like uh, Alice McGee's Alice in Wonderland, like the horror one. And that was it. That is it, really. That was it. That was it. Forty dollars for entry. Apparently, there's a website. Apparently, there's a website. Let's let's look at the website. Oh my God! This looks awful. Indulge in a chocolate fantasy like never before. They, they literally just used, like, Dali AI to generate all this. Enchanted Garden. There's no pictures. There's absolutely no pictures. You just used AI generated... You generated an AI image. Imagination Labs. Prepare to be captivated by a visual spectacle. Yeah, it definitely looks like a visual spectacle. Twilight Tunnel. Captivating Entertainment. Is that colossal? Is crazy. Bro, 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 bro. They used AI to describe the words. Look at this. Look, look. This isn't even English. Cat, gat. That's meant to say captivating. Cat, gat, gating. Live, perform. Uh, you got the R and the M just bleeding into each other there. Karchi, Karchi tons. Okay, you get Karchi tons. I might be going. I might be going. They got Karchi tons. X... Ah, uh, Sardre lollipops. Exisardre lollipops. A paradise of sweet teats. A paradise of sweet teats? Okay. That's why the police shut it down. That's why the police shut it down. And apparently it's in Box Hub Warehouse in Glasgow. And the duration is 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and apparently as well, there's some pictures of the inside. Let's have a little look. No way. I'm actually in awe of how grim this is. There's no way. Bro, it looks, it looks like an SCP laboratory. How did they get away with this? What? What? That... That is literally... They, they got an image printed out on the wall and they called that an experience. Why, why is there a queue system here? Why is there a queue system to stand in front of a picture? That is, that is crazy. Someone in chat said insomnia. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, okay, guys. I have to make a, uh, I have to make a, a little admission here. Uh, this is actually the Insomnia meet and greet that I'll be doing in March. Uh, next month. It, it, this is it. This is it. This is all you're getting. You, you pay to get in. You pay to get in. This is all you're getting. This is all you're getting. Oh my god, she looks miserable, bro. She looks so depressed, that poor woman. What is this? Is this like Walter White's meth lab? They never had this in Willy Wonka. There's no way. None of the props even make sense. You know that they just bought all of that. What was like... What was the budget? Was it just like a handshake or something? This has to be a bit, right? Now, apparently, which is really weird, the, uh, the company is registered under house of illuminati like i'm not hang on hang on hang on hang on 
apparently on the website it's registered by house of illuminati is that real hang on yeah house of illuminati is the organizer that's weird that is very strange they, they got an instagram account no posts 169 followers event planner we plan and produce the most spectacular events what event what event did you plan there's no event here that is crazy hang on let's let's pull up their let's pull up their website let's pull up their website let's do a little bit of digging Oh my god, it's still more AI. It's still AI. Welcome to House of Illuminati, a realm where fantasy and reality converge to create unparalleled immersive experiences. Do you have any examples? Bro, this has to be a scam, right? This has to be a scam. There is literally no... You've used AI art for everything. You don't even... What events?! There's no events. It's all AI art that you've just generated. Careers. Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine if you get a, if you got a career at House of Illuminati. Like if YouTube falls off, I'll know where to go. What to expect at Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. Okay, so that is the lowest quality image I've ever seen in my life. What is wrong with that image? What is wrong with that image? Hang on, I'm going to see if I can pull up uh, an actual video. I want to. I want to see. I want to see a video. I would pay forty dollars for you to pee on me. Send the forty dollars. Right. Let's 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 watch this. Oh fuck off! God, Daddy Mal is so. Hang on, let me, let me let me try and open this on another, on another tab. God. Daily Mail will be like, mate, please give us ads, mate. We're desperate, please. We gotta have some ads, mate. I've gotta feed my kids, mate. Right, let's let's try this. Is this the world's worst Willy Wonka experience? Parent fury after immersive Charlie and the Chocolate Factory event turns out to be a tiny bouncy castle, small lollipop, and a single, a single umpa lumpa, a single umpa lumpa. What? 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 That, that 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 there's nothing there there's nothing there there's absolutely nothing oh my god dude this is like the happiest this is like the best event this is like in this is like insomnia in scotland the, what are they doing this looks terrible police were called and it was cancelled halfway through that poor poor jenny fogarty that poor poor woman she will actually never live this down. How does it look like City 17? What did they do? 35 pound to basically go into like an air silo. 35 pound to go into like a, a waiting room at an airport. That is insane. A universe where your dreams come true. Like, like are that many people in Scotland just on hard drugs that they'll, they'll, they'll just think they get high and they can just walk around anywhere? A near empty factory with a few Wonka themed props and small bouncy castle. That is insane. Dreams become reality. Oh, she looks so miserable. I do I do feel sorry for her. I do feel sorry for her. That is bad. Where is the Wonka experience? You literally just have like 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 a little rainbow, little sad rainbow over there. 
Someone in chat said PS5 event. PS5 launch event. <laughs> PS5 launch event. <laughs> Guys, we've got this amazing console. It runs Netflix very well. You can even get Spotify working on it. Uh, games? What, what games? Oh, that's... That's awful. That's awful. One parent wrote on social media, one absolute shambles of an event took two minutes to get through and then a queue of people surrounding the guy running it complaining. It's just like, it's, it's like the behind the scenes of a stage play for like kids. Like all the, all the little props they use and stuff. Like, what? You can't just get a bunch of random props, place them around. I mean, bro, it looks like Gmod Prop Hunt. What is this? Oh, this, this that's that's so bad. That is so bad. They posted an image saying it's all coming together nicely. What is? It's like it's like it's like the back rooms. Someone said the Atomic Heart DLC. That I would rather play that again than go to this. I would rather play that again than go all the way up to to fucking Scotland and then sit around here. Well, we got a bar at least. I can go cope, drink my sorrows away. That's that's awful. Exclusive, you've scammed kids. I'm not surprised. Two bouncers! They bought flanked by two bouncers. The event company's director. He had bouncers at a kids event because he knew it was going to go that badly and it was basically a scam. He paid £35 and he had bouncers. There's no way. There's no way. Bro literally, bro literally rented like, uh, bro literally rented like a, a two by four room. He put in a potted plant, a rainbow, and then like, uh, he opened like a bag of, of like jelly beans, put them on the floor. And he's like, yep, come in. 35 pounds. 35 pounds. That, that, that is awful. There, there's no way. There's no way. Wait, they sold chat GPT novels. How Billy Cool conned kids by using AI generated images to sell immersive experiences. Chat GPT authored novels. He used chat GPT to write himself novels that he sold on Amazon. Hello there folks, it's BC Christian here with TheSecretDesign.com, I hope you're all well, but anyway, the reason why I'm doing this quick Twitter video is because I've just learned this great product, I'm really exciting, it's a 5 ebook series, e -book? to becoming financially free. Why with... do they do this? They all do this, they all do this, and the book is just going to be about drop shipping, you know it is, it's like, uh, drop shippers should be lined up against a wall, and they should be uh, timed out for 5 minutes, like, like, they, they I, Every time, every time. That is a new low. So instead of drop shipping, you're now using AI to tell you how to drop ship. Becoming financially free. Oh yes, it's, it's very exciting. And, and this five books. <laughs> oh, I, like, I, I found this like, I found this book to be like financially Please. free. Like, I found this book. I wrote it myself in chat GPT. Ignore the fact I'm in a council house, but I mean, I'm completely financially free. I really Don't care. How that you can become financially free. Is going to he looks like he's in a prison cell. Like, what are you talking about being financially free? People really don't want you to, to know. And it's going to really They don't want you, you to know. How that you can become financially free. It's going to show you the rules of becoming financially free. But Stop saying it! Is, he's just saying um, the same thing over and over. A special trial offer. A trial you offer. Can test these products, right? <laughs> for 30 days. Bad ticket to me, Wonka World. For two pound, two dollars. Two dollars, which is two dollars like a cup of coffee, right? A cup $2, of coffee. Thirty trial. Okay. He's got me hooked. Free. How good's that sound? He's got me hooked. To our friends, 
The link is somewhere on, on the Twitter, whatever it is. It's a bit ly link. Get yourself there. There's a video on there as well that will give you a brief introduction and all this sort of stuff. So my friends, get yourself there now. I don't know how long this £2 trial offer is going to last, but it's very exciting to see. They always do that. They always do that, and I hate them for it. I'm going to teach you how to be financially free, donkey. Hey, donkey. I, I don't want to get Princess Fiona anymore, donkey. I want to be financially free, donkey. It's, it's just like, wrap it up. Wrap it up. And they always do that thing where it's like, I, I don't know how long this offer's gonna last for. Like, you do, it's never going to go away. You're just trying to have like FOMO feeling of missing out. So they buy into your like, stupid scam. Two dollars, bro said two dollars. So my friends, get yourself off now. Don't be delaying because it's limited for the first- Can you see him? Like he's panicking, his hands tweet. I, I, I need you to buy the offer. You will buy the offer now. 20, 30 people. That, that, that's all. 20, 30 people are going to get the £2 trial offer. Right? And if you check back tomorrow, the, the, the trial offer will be gone. <laughs> so this £2, $2. You, you, got, you got to buy it now. It's never coming back. You got to buy it now. Hey, you don't get it. A £2 trial offer. It's never trial coming offer. back. First 30 people. Okay. Done. First 30 people. He just made that number up in his head, guaranteed. He's like, oh, 30 people. Right. So he has been uh, using ChatGPT to sell novels. A brand new called Santa's Grosso. He has published 17 novels. Bro's got Stephen King beat. He's been doing ChatGPT novels. He's the director of House of Illuminati. This is why AI is so dangerous because it actually tricks people into thinking morons are actually like giving good experiences. That, that that is like like this guy would never have any grounds to stand on but those parents like they see the website and they probably think like oh he's a good artist i bet he drew all that himself eh let's go down to wonka world kids 35 quid to get scammed that's mental i'm gonna see if there's any tiktoks on this because usually you get all that shit on tiktok hang on that is shambles I think there's a couple here. I think there's a couple here we can look at. Ooh. Oh, that's just the actual pictures as well. There's got to be more of it, right? Oh, the oh, these were the actual promo pictures. They don't look too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of... Uh, they, they don't look too bad. Oh, my God. Where is... That is like... They didn't even, like, try... Just an, a, a sad AC unit that's probably going to, like, fall on some child sat there. Right above the bench, by the way. Very safe. Just a bunch of benches. This is like a, this is like a waiting room. It's like a waiting room for people w when they get put in prison. When their, like, significant other comes out to, like, speak to them. That is just... What is that? Just piss? Like... <laughs> this is actually worse than Dashcon. Oh, speaking of Dashcon. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's just so bad. It's so bad. If they called it like the Liminal Spaces event, it would actually make sense. But that is just like... <sighs> of course the guy wrote ChatGPT novels. Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Apparently he apologized. He apologized. Oh, boys, we might be getting... We might be getting that refund. We might be getting that refund. 
surely he gives out refund. Imagine he apologizes. He's like, no, I can't do refund. Sorry. The experience took place February 24th. The immersive event was a failure. £35 for tickets. That's insane. If that's per person, that is awful. Where, where's the apology? He told the publication, I'm really shocked that the event had fallen... I, I'm shocked that the event had fallen short. I'm shocked. Wait, you can't make AI in real life? But the website looks so good, guys. What? What do you mean they don't like the funny mushroom for 35... And, and the bouncy castle for 35 pounds? There was every intention to hold the event from the pictures, despite not being in the best light. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there was every intention to hold the event. Unfortunately, there was unforeseen circumstance. Bro is pulling a G-man. Bro is saying unforeseen consequences. Like, like as a way to get out. That is crazy. That makes zero sense. There, the, these issues were, were technological in nature. What does that mean? These issues were technological. What does that mean? We had ordered holographic paper. Oh, the, the holographic paper. Oh my god, that's why it all fell apart. Oh my god, that makes sense. Okay, so the event would actually have been completely baller, and like everyone in Scotland would have gone to it. It would have been like the best event ever. It would have been, 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 been it would have been better than the Wonka film, but the holographic paper didn't arrive, guys. It actually hey, makes Byro, sense. Just needed to let you know that the slop titles are so bad they've actually immunized me to clickbait. This isn't even a bit. I think twice about every clickbait I see now. So cheers, dude. Have a good one. Thank you, Red Nova, for the 10. Oh, the donors are working again. Nice. Once again, I apologize to everyone for the sheer and utter disappointment. I'm deeply disappointed. Does he only know, like, two words in his vocabulary? Why were the police called, though? I can imagine, like, one of the Scottish parents, like, Hey, you, you, you scammed us. Are you calling the police? No, I, I, you give me my money back. Look at that. Look at that. Where is the experience? 35 quid. Why would you even open it, bro? Why would you even open it? These poor, like, bro, like, you know what this is going to do? The Americans, right? And everyone in Europe, they're going to use this against us because the UK has such, like, like, a meme going around that it is a depressing, sad country to live in. This does not help. We're using this. Like, like, like imagine you work like a long week. You got a family. You got a wife. You got kids. And the little kids tugging your arm. Yeah, we're going to Wonka World. It's like shut the fuck up. But all right, fair enough. I take you to Wonka World. Thirty-five quid, whatever. Makes the family happy. Shuts the wife up, whatever. You go in. That's it. it, it it's like queuing up at an airport. You get a bench with like flavored piss, and then a bouncy castle. That, like, bro, the UK fell off. We fell off so much. Oh, let's see this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Farmies thinking they are Scottish, so they kind of deserve it. They kind of deserve it. Not fully. Maybe a little bit. My heart sank. It was. It wasn't even like fear. It was just. I just felt sad because I was aware of how many kids were going to be coming through. Wait. Why is he? Why is his? Check why is his? Slop boy. Why? Why is his name actor? Paul Connell actor. Was he like paid to do this interview, or was he like an umpa lumper? He might have been an umpa lumper. Poor guy. I was aware of how many kids were going to be coming through, um, and like just looking around the place and just being like is dead and i don't want to charge it or get the other remote so could you be a darling and turn your stream off thank you thank you most active pyro fan how about you do some exercise bro then you get out of bed and do it yourself this is this is terrible like um, you know we we were told to look at that look at that it's just a white wall it's the back rooms like there's nothing there there's nothing there and then they just put two posters on and called it a day they spelled shop wrong! They did sweet shoppy. They did all this in AI, bro. They did all this in AI, and they didn't even try and edit the image. Sweet shoppy. Sweet shoppy. 
I don't, I can't. This I can't. Is this terrible. is terrible. Like, um, you know, we we were told this is literally to have... just Dashcom 2020. No, 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 no. This is worse than Dashcom. This is worse than Dashcom. And the kids. Look at this. It's just benches. To hand the kids, oh my like, god! A couple of jelly beans and a quarter cup of lemonade at the end. Wait, what did they get? The lemonade at the end. Jelly beans and a a couple of jelly beans and a quarter cup of lemonade. So now we're rationing them. Now we're rationing them. Not a cup of lemonade, a quarter cup of lemonade. Because they were that stingy, they didn't even want to run to the Tesco and get another bottle of lemonade. And a quarter cup of lemonade at the end. Um, I went up to the, the people running it as well and had asked about, like, I was like, what do you want me to do with this script? Because Is, is that just spoons? <laughs> it's got a bunch of spoons. Um, none of Wait, someone said it said sweatshop. It didn't say sweet shop. Did it say sweatshop? No, no, no. It says sweet. I, I love that, though. How they just printed another P and they were like, yeah, whatever. It's it's the, a the AI gods have willed it. It shall be so. The hand for kids, like, a end. Um... Hey, guys, what's poppin'? Today, we are playing Shell Simulator. Bruh, 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 bruh. Also, white 2016 KSI. BW Cops called for promoting vape to toddler-aged pyro viewers. Feels like a tax write-off for something deeper. It does. It does feel like a tax write-off. Because if they had families in there, if they had like a couple dozen families, they would have easily made like over a grand or something. It's very weird. I went up to the, the people running it as well and had asked about like, I was like, what do you want me to do with this script? Because um, none of the things, like the special effects and things like that, none of that's there. What do you want me to do? And I was just told, do whatever I want. Do whatever you want. Today has been very stressful and frustrating, and we are truly sorry. Unfortunately, last minute we were let down. Okay, are you doing a refund? Are you doing a refund? Are you doing a refund? We will be giving full refunds to each and every person. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm not going to lie, though. Just cancel it. Why did you open the doors anyway? Just cancel it. Yeah, you've done 800. 850 people went there. 850 people went there. That is insane. I mean, okay, they, they did they did refunds. Fair enough. So, so sorry to everybody for, you know, this year and other disappointment. Oh, my God. He's been hitting the vape. Bro, bro's been crying for like two days straight, or he's been hit toking that Benjamin. So, so sorry to everybody for, you know, this year and other disappointment. We had tried to continue the event in the best manner in which we could. However, again, I am deeply disappointed. Someone said YouTuber apology. No, it, it didn't begin with a deep sigh. It didn't begin with a deep sigh. What's happening? Technical issues. There wasn't any technology there to have an issue. Just shut it down. It was that bad? It was. It was funny. <laughs> not... it, was, it was that bad. It was funny. I like that. I like that. That's funny. That was funny. And my that, boys. That's something I'd say. Were, they walked in and they were just like, "What the? What is this?" They were. Yeah. Could you imagine like the little kids tugging his dad's arm? I generate. Like they'd literally be sat there, be like, "We, we could be all playing Fortnite, Daddy. Why are we here?" Like, imagine you actually try to get you, because the gener this next generation is absolutely fucked, right? Like, they're in the house all the time, like, literally just always on Fortnite. Parents try to get them out of the house, get them off TikTok, and then they get taken to basically, like, it looks like fire Festival, bro. It's awful. They were in stitches. Someone said AI-generated apology. True. Thank you. Uh, what's your fucking name? Dranov for the 20 euros. Thank you, man. Hey, my beautiful Pyro TV man, donating because I want to check a really fun and enjoyable horror game called Rotten Flesh on Steam. Rotten Flesh, what is that? What's Rotten Flesh? Ooh, this just came out. Ooh. 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 
Okay. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try that out tomorrow. I'm going to try that out tomorrow. That is, that's a good suggestion. Thank you, man. Okay. We will do that tomorrow. Definitely. Is with it all. Um, my little girl, she was a bit disappointed. She She's only four, so she wanted to... She was looking forward to it the whole time. But she, even at the end, she was laughing. And if it was, that's, if it was that bad, it was just... You can only laugh at it, really. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Full refunds, at least. Fair enough. You can't really do much worse than that. But just look at that. Look at that. What were they smoking when they thought that would be all right? It was originally advertised as a big experience with optical illusions, chocolate fountains, and sweets. Happiest uh, UK resident there. I yeah, like 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 what? Like what? You just bought? I, I swear these props were probably handmade, right? They were handmade by a team. The props look good. The props actually look good, and I reckon they just finished the props. And that was it. That, that there was there was nothing else. Look at all these receded hairlines complaining. Jesus, the UK is done. We're done. We're How at, many fat fied pyros to make you bricked? I'm not answering that question. Oh my god, even TMZ covered it, bro. It's over. It's over. Dude, she's gonna be memed on. That's so messed up. Right, chat, I'm ending stream now because I have a podcast in half an hour with the old people. Uh, so My I need to... Be there, Pyro. When uh, are you coming to Scotland next? Three looking fresh with the season two Stannis Baratheon hairline. Thank you, Lord of Lazy Reactions, the tent. When am I coming to Scotland? Uh, hopefully never. The place is dreary. Um, and everyone there's quite overweight. Right, I'm uh, ending stream chat thank you so much for watching i will be streaming again tomorrow i've gotten to a good routine now i kind of voice the darkwood script in the morning work out and then i stream so all good hey paro i tried to be edgy <laughs> Great dono. Thank you for the 10. Great dono.